Mic check, 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 check. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Already. Already. Yeah. About the sound like damn, this name and connecting it's crazy. Damn, they just internet want uh, the internet and me ain't getting along today. I see. Well, my gear, me and the gear. Yo, yeah. what's going on? I'm trying to get this shit started. Uh, I gotta turn on this. Dude. I don't hear shit. I right, hear jack shit. There we go. There we go. What's going on, A Magnificent? Dr. ND. S A V G. Uh, S L V G. I'm, I'm dyslexic, man. Don't worry about it. Reaper, what's good? Gas Mask, what's going on? Nug, Life 303. Fabian, what's going on? How y'all been? Oh, yeah. Let me do this because I keep on forgetting about that. Shit been wild. 2024, 2024 is very remnant outside of no COVID restrictions. This this year has been on some other shit. Okay. Damn, I just tuned in to, to Twitter. D Rich, what's good? Drifter, what's going on? Someone, what's good? <laughs> uh, Baltimega, what's going on? I ain't seen you in forever. Hey, <laughs> yo, do you? Uh, Rendez West, what's good? Yeah. Well, I finally got stems. <laughs> Shit. Uh, we're gonna see if it works. I have not tested it out either. Wow. Hopefully, it won't be one of those streams where I mean, I I I keep it as professional as possible. But damn, uh, is the stream running okay? Am I losing frames? It's, I don't know. It's just weird shit with YouTube and, and OBS. They ain't getting along like they used to. I don't know. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'm not. Look, I understand people want to get into the headlines and they just want to say shit. But why in the world would you want to get your news from anybody that doesn't actually use any gear? But. Hey, it is what it is to me. <laughs> uh, but we're gonna talk about that. But we also gonna um actually use it or try to. Appreciate that, Marcus K. Yeah, cause people gonna tell they little uh they slight side and all this other stuff. It's it's kind of like uh. Well, I guess we could talk about that in essence, but it is kind of like the same situation with like teenage engineering and shit like that. In my opinion. No chops clear feed good. Oh, being only for desktop. Well, I mean, there was no announcement. Uh, well, there was never an announcement day. Uh, there was a, a record of it. I've already talked about it in a, a previous video. People are pissed about NPC, this, that, and the third, and all that. And I was just like, okay. Well, um, you know, I, I guess I get down to it. Peace to you. Damn, bro, I just got here. I already, sorry, probably time for me to go to bed. Damn. Hey, I understand the eight hours of sleep is very important. Uh, trust and believe, I'm one of those. Bro, I, I'm not gonna sit here and, uh, and lose sleep because uh, then you end up making mistakes and your body don't get to grow, your body don't get no rest, you know what I'm saying? Shit like that, so you have a good night. Um, <clears throat> What's going on, Remy? Yeah. 
but it's all good. All right, so I, I guess we can get into the whole spill of things. And, and this is just coming from me uh, as a content creator. Music, uh, you know, I, I guess I could say content creator, but I, I, I make the music first, you know what I'm saying? But the reality of the situation is I'm on YouTube and there's titles that come with that. Uh, and if it wasn't for this platform, I probably wouldn't be able to do what I enjoy full time or even get to do videos and stuff like that because, you know, that's how it really started was me. This, this channel was meant to, to, you know, help people that wanted to be here and appreciate everybody being here. 76 people, a big salute. Um, and just to, just to create content. You know, that's based off the music producer community and whatnot. So uh, just to get things started, you know, la yesterday uh, the MPC stems finally was released. Uh, and, you know, there were some situations where even I even encountered uh, just from purchasing it. You know, it's about, it goes for about $9.99. I've seen people kind of pitch other things, too, you know, in, in the in the nether, nether realms of the forum. So let me go ahead and just get into context here. So stems came out yesterday, Tuesday. And you know, if you go to a professional.com, uh, same thing that I did, believe it or not. And you know, you see out now you see it by 999. I believe I clicked on this and, you know, purchased like everybody else. Uh, believe it or not. So once it came, you get over here and you know, I ain't got no information or anything like that. I like that's why I like about uh, certain websites. They don't sit there and you know. Well, you can always choose not to, so I don't come down on anybody or sound like a complete and utter idiot when it comes to purchasing uh, stuff. I went purchased it, and I didn't get uh, an email back until what a little later that day or whatnot. Uh, but you know, I had a just to be clear. I had a early build of the MPC stems uh, not so long ago, uh, maybe I believe like Friday, you know, just courtesy uh, so I can so we can spread the word and everybody can un have a, a firm understanding of what it is and how you use it and all that stuff. Of course, the Kai Professional provided those videos, too. But, you know, uh, who, who knows? Some people just don't follow a Kai and the reach is limited, you know, granted. Or people just, you know, the people just like who they like when it comes to content creation. Uh, everybody released their videos and whatnot. I couldn't release my video because I noticed when I went to start my MPC stems or, or start the MPC software, which I already have it started or whatnot right now, I could not, by any means, could not use the stems. I saw it there, there was no refresh button. You know, I paid for it and, uh, well, that was before I even paid for it too, just to keep it 100 with you guys. And I was just like, all right, well then maybe that, you know, Akai wants me to pay for it or not. And it's not a big deal. Like I don't have a problem with getting stuff, especially something I'm gonna use like stems. And, and you know, I purchased the vast majority of my NPCs, so believe it or not. Don't know if that makes me biased or not. What's going on, Mega Spins? Uh, all the people that pulled up in the chat. So um, w when it came down to it, it wasn't working. It wasn't working. Uh, <laughs> I got a crap ton of phone calls from a lot of people as if, you know, and, and I get it because I en end up doing a lot of stuff with a Kai professional and all that stuff. And I don't have no problem with people calling me or whatever. But, you know, I don't have all the answers. But I noticed when I was trying to refresh it. There was a message saying, you know, there's an error. Uh, this it said server. So I'm like, oh shit, like I can't even, you know, I can't refresh servers down. I can't pull up stuff. Went to the M Music uh, software, uh, software Center, you know, which is another thing that uh, everybody should do. Just get the, the M Music brand software center on your computer, laptop, or whatever, desktop laptop computer and just see all the stuff that you have purchased like it will be there um, I had to learn that too with uh, fabric Excel and and many other plugins and stuff like that you know when they don't work but the servers were down um, didn't know if it was for sure no it wasn't for certain 
I know uh, you know, the people over there at Akai Professional wasn't trying to be vindictive or anything like that. Uh, everybody came out with their videos. I'm like, cool. You know, all these cats got their videos out there for stems. Boom. You know, people are going to go and make what, what do of what they do. And that's where, you know, a lot of the problems that came in is where people were like, oh, the stems, stems is not working. Or I purchased stems, but I ain't got my license and stuff like that. I'm still getting people that's texting me about the shit. And, you know, granted, people just want answers. There was answers uh, on uh, social media. Let me see if I can pull it up. Uh, let's see. No, I'm, I'm, I'm prepared, but not well prepared. So I'm going to pull up the proof of that. Because if something like this is happening, the vast majority of people that um, are using the software or people that have already purchased stuff, they're going to want it. You know what I mean? So I get it. So, let's see here. I know a Kai professional is tagged somewhere. Uh, we got Marco Polo. I, I'm not, I, I, I'll hold up on that one. Uh, but big shout out to Marco Polo. Everybody, you know, put out, put out the message. They put out the message and... Good Lord. Uh, <laughs> hey, look, I'm on Instagram, man. Instagram be wildin'. It don't matter who you follow. Uh, <laughs> one, one woman that you follow is definitely going to have a thirst trap or two. Uh, man, man said he went to Reddit or uh, whatnot. We're, we're going to get to that part. We're going to get to that part. All right. And, you know, and people can take it how they, uh, how they want it from me. I, I'm I'm just personally uh, commenting on the situation so that you know people don't think that I was it, like like this is some wild thing that oh I'm in on or anything like that or Kai's you know it, the, all these things <laughs> don't wouldn't add up anyways but you know it still could look bad and uh, <sighs> Big Zaytoven uh, I'm, I'm going through my damn Twitter feed. You know what? Let's just go ahead and use the search bar like a normal person would or supposed to. Uh, Kai Professional, uh, Kai Pro. Come on, man. Give it to me. Here we go. All right. Boom. All right. No, I just saw it. I just, I just saw it. Unless they. Oh, okay. Here we go. We, we, we're we here. We're here. You know, it's my damn. Oh, you know, everything acting crazy in here as of late. Anyways, so Stream Deck is a little wild. <laughs> what else is new? So, you know, if you go to the Kai Pros page, you know, there's the chance that people would not uh, have seen this. Granted, um, you know, I'm not going to sit here and just demonize people for all that. Uh, but they had a message here, and the message reads like this, and I'm, I am blind. Uh, just to let you know, it's, it's a day ago, so they addressed it on Tuesday. Today is Wednesday still on the East Coast. It's about 10.43 p.m. So they said, we were absolutely thrilled to witness the incredible love and support from Akai Pro and PC Stems. Your enthusiasm and success of this game-changing feature not only overwhelm beat makers worldwide, but quite unexpectedly our servers as well. So, you know, I guess that's some little humor for you guys, <laughs> you know. <laughs> but anyways, um, back to it. Uh, let's see it in the service as well. Uh, we experienced higher than usual traffic, which led to a temporary service disruption. Uh, this, is, uh, this has now been corrected. However, some purchasers are experiencing delays as the servers catch up. Uh, we understand the inconvenience this may have caused and appreciate your patience and understanding while we manage through this Akai Pro team. And, you know, we got, we got, we might as well read the comments while we're here. Um, it says one uh, day ago, I still haven't made it. Um, I'm, you know, that's my that's my bro right here. You know, I, I fucks with him. You know, uh, 
my, my Spanish ain't the best, you know, but Google, what Google Translate can't ha uh, handle, you know, that, you know, he's a, he's a really dope finger drum. He's a, the, actually, is a really good musician. Uh, I already buy, but the NPC stems, but the plugin cannot be activated. So, you know, this person, you know, they're wondering what's the deal. They can't activate it. And, you know, that's a part of the issue because you, uh, you have to use a serial number and all this other stuff to unlock it. Uh, does this program work with NPC Touch? Of course, we always have one of those motherfuckers. But, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> We're just going to leave it alone. We're going to leave that alone. <laughs> Nigga using it. <laughs> using the NPC Touch in 24. <laughs> in 2024 is wild. But have at it, you know. And that kind of made my day. It was going on, Cap. Um, <laughs> bit time they, you know, they're going in on the comments. Uh, look, and I, I want to address this before we even get into anything further. Look, I apologize that, you know, you, yo, you guys have to go through this. You know, they have already said uh, uh, apologies or whatnot. I'm kind of glad that, you know, maybe I maybe my procrastination and waking up at like six or seven in the morning to to do the video and then put it out to, just in time. You know, I don't know if it's divine timing or just. Whatever, because I've anticipated uh, the NPC stems too, because this tonight will be the first freaking night where I actually go and use it some bitch. I don't know anything about the stems outside of the videos I watch and even the videos that I watch kind of have me like, what? Like, I don't know what the fuck is going on. You know what I'm saying? And, and I have, and with all due respect to uh, uh, Andy Mac or just a Kai professional, I have watched and reacted to the video, but I haven't kind of inspected it with my mind because I was so thrilled with the excitement. So, um, just to explain, server issues happen, right? And you, I guess for most people, it's just like, uh, well, dude, they're, they're a big corporation, blah, blah, blah. They should have that stuff done. True. True. All things are true. That doesn't mean that it, it shit, stuff don't happen. Nobody wants stuff to happen. Nobody wants their business not to run smooth. As someone that's a business owner, I understand both aspects and, and both sides, both the consumer and uh, the corporation side, the, profe the business side. All right. So absolutely, these things do happen. Uh, I don't know. You know, I don't I haven't watched anybody else in their videos. Uh, I've seen, you know, a few comments on Facebook, but I don't, I, <laughs> unless, unless someone's really talking, talking that talk about me, which happens on there, uh, I don't necessarily react to it because most people just want a reaction in the first place because that makes them feel way more important that they can piss you off. You know what I mean? They want that attention. Some people cannot, like they, that's, that's all they live for is negativity. It's just people, that's, that's what it is. Like that's what they that's what makes their blood boil. Like they can't drop a video with all due respect, can't drop a video and be helpful and then deal with the fact that, you know, it might not get 10K views or thousands of views. Some people, their ego is in their numbers. So their numbers are affected by, e uh, by the ego. This shit. Look, I've been in I've been through all this shit, right? And that's not even as a disc. I've actually been through all of that shit. You don't be on a platform for like 18 years without some type of struggle. That, I mean, the fact that I've been on 18 years and I, and I only got to 100K is absolutely insane when there's people that have dropped and by all means, all kinds of quality. <laughs> and by all means, all kinds of quality and got 100K plus on this platform. Uh, but I am appreciative for, and just for that very reason, I'm very appreciative that I had to grind it all the way the fuck out. You feel me? But not everybody is with that. They just want to do all the easy smoke shit because it's the smoke shit gets attention. People like dying for attention. Now, uh, back to it. Servers do have issues um, when there is a lot of overload. If you someone... <laughs> You someone that has played Call of Duty or, you know, video games in general, you know, I don't want to just put it on a, a specified series or whatever. Server overloads, overloads happen. I've had it 
happen on almost every single website that I've ran, uh, where there's a high demand and people don't get their stuff and they get upset. And, you know, automation isn't perfect. You know what I'm saying? Automation, it just makes it easier to where you ain't got to fulfill stuff by hand. You know what I'm saying? And, and God bless automation. You know what I'm saying? But it's not foolproof. You know what I mean? So, yeah, there's people out there and, you know, I, I hopefully y'all will get it soon. You know, I'm pretty sure they're on top of it over there. A Kai professional, you know, it, it shouldn't have happened. They should uh, have prepped for it. But this STEM shit and, and it's all by all means, uh, the STEM shit is a little different for the NPC world because uh, it's a it's more of an established workflow. It's just like if. Um, and Native Instruments did the exact same thing, which I'm pretty sure, <laughs> by all means, they like, oh, well, shit. We're going to see how this shit goes on their end, then we're going to bite it. Because that's how the machine, you know, that's how competition works. And that's not a shot at, you know what I'm saying, uh, at Native Instruments or anything like that. You know, I fuck with those guys, too. Uh, yeah, <laughs> it was a pretty big blunder, nonetheless. Uh, I, I was hot. But then I thought to myself, like, I'm not going to go to the Internet and, and scream in forums or, or just kind of, you know, some people, they, what they'll do is they'll throw s stones and hide their hands. Like they'll act like they give a shit about you and they don't give a shit about you. Because <laughs> if that's the case, you, you sit there and watch how a person moves and you'll see what I'm talking about. But, you know, I'm not here to sit here and it's easy for me to just throw it on all on a Kai or, you know, anybody, you know what I'm saying? I even do that to a teenage engineer with the whole fader gate thing. Uh, and the main reason why, and it's very relative to fader gate for this very reason too. Uh, the fader gate, they make a product, ship it, they ship it everywhere. You know, the, the build quality isn't the best, you know, but it's good enough for, and uh, astonishing for what it does, uh, at its size, you know, and its limitations or whatever, it, it does a whole lot, but, you know, there's a defect, you know, in, in play. That's possibly caused by a few different scenarios. Uh, however, I wasn't affected by that scenario as well as many others, but still, it's an issue. And granted, as a company, the one thing I do like about teenage engineering, they, they just accepted it for what it was, and, you know, it, it, and that's what it usually is. And now I'm pretty sure that's what Akai is like. Damn. Like, we weren't expecting this. Hey, when you push something that hard, uh, stem separation is quite early. Uh, the access of this with the MPC, um, people might have been curious and that might have been sold them, in, uh, sold them into it. Now, okay, so this other part too, because I, and I'm not going to stay on this shit. I, I kid you not. Uh, there, there are people that are reporting about, like, uh, you know, they, what they're saying, because I've seen it in forums, by the way. You know, you can't, some people just go to forums and it's just piss a, a, a fest. And that's why I don't really be in forums like that, because there's people that just, they're just, I don't get it. Um, but, hey, it's your character. And, and thank you for the four, uh, 47 likes. I appreciate that, and big shout out to the 200, 209 people that are up in this bitch. But, in, you know, uh, I'm just chilling. Uh, <laughs> I've learned a lot in these past couple of years about how to go about things and, you know, screaming at the top of my lungs. And, you know, I, I get it. It gets a lot of attention, uh, but then you got to investigate the situation at hand and you want to ask the right people. Uh, granted, not a lot of people have access to, you know, their corp the corporation that they might work with or stuff like that. But, you know, when, when a company or whatever has a blunder, it would be different if they wouldn't address it at all. It would have been crazy if they wouldn't, <laughs> wouldn't have addressed it, mind you, you know. <laughs> he said at the end of the day, beast gonna be made regardless. Of what. We, we gonna, I'm looking at the chat now. Uh, stem down. But the other thing, okay, before I even get into the chat uh, right now, uh, before I get into anything else, let, let's go back. I'm gonna walk it back in yet again. 
So the other thing was that standalone was supposed to come out around the same time, around the same time. I've heard different stories from different people. Oh, still, like it's supposed to be in standalone right now. No, that was never said. I've already showed y'all and let me go ahead and pull up that video so that, you know, people can look uh, because, you know, people want to jump over, jump uh, out of context a lot and act as if people haven't addressed that shit before. Yeah, and that's gonna uh, get get to a bigger side of it. Uh, three Diglets, thank you so much. Um, I, I'll get to that question in a second. Give me a second here. Uh, I haven't did many videos this year, <laughs> and there's a reason for that. But you know, I digress. Uh, somebody getting fired is crazy. <laughs> so I did a video. I did a video called NPC stems delayed, everyone is pissed. Cause that's the only reason why, and, and mind you, that wasn't even clickbait, that's facts, right? You just, all you have to do is just go to any Akai forum made by whomever, uh, mind you, and, and you got people in there screaming at the top of their lungs, they don't even know how to turn the fucking NPC on for crying out loud, and I'm not even joking. Like I've actually had someone ask me, how do you turn it on? That's not a dumb question, but you know, People are, are that unfamiliar with it. Big Wagga, what's good? So, all right. So, is it possible to sync the NPC to Logic Pro software? And the answer is yes. Uh, do I know how to do it? No. Uh, but I can guess that you could just 100% just sync it uh, the same way that you would in, like, FL Studio. Uh, you run your MIDI out of your audio interface into the MIDI end of your NPC, or matter of fact, I lied. You don't even have to do that. You can just open up the NPC software inside of Logic as a VST plugin, and then you can run everything from your NPC using the Logic clock. That's a simple ass solution right there. So the answer is yes. Uh, I have plenty of videos on it. Andy Mack has showed it off. In a video that uh, we we did with uh, produced by Jack, it had us in there and and uh, Marlo Diggs. But yeah, so all right, so so people think that NPC stems was supposed uh, NPC stems was supposed to come with standalone immediately. There was never any indication of that. Uh, there was a release date on the internet uh, within this video. I talked about that. I showed I'm that. I'm broke, nigga. I'm broke. Is it possible to sync my MPC to Logic Pro software? Yes. Yes. But uh, yeah, thank you so much. Um, there was a video Andy Mac made. He made an announcement video where people were upset about that. Like, oh, I, I can't get it now. What's the point of an announcement video? That Those were the comments there. Um, and then, you know, to, but on... Google, there was a release date and all that, which had no, that was nobody's business. Uh, and that wasn't true. It was not true. So you, lo you love working with the, uh, the NPC and Logic? Yeah, it's, uh, you know, uh, the way I would probably use it would be more like how I use it in FL Studio. Um, I would just have it synced to FL or FL sync to it, to the NPC. And then that way I could just run, run the, uh, a gambit on it. You know what I'm saying? There's little to low, low latency in it. You know, uh, PPQN is a little different on the computer than it is on, you know, your groove boxes or drum machines and stuff like that. But, you know, there's always going to be a, a, a somewhat of a delay. You know, that's, that's just how it is. That's why some people just make the decision, I'm going to work with just all hardware or I'm going to just work with all software. But yeah, there there was no indication that uh, uh, that standalone version would be there. I have many people just ask me like, "Oh, did the standalone?" Uh, <laughs> and they're like, "Yeah." They were like, "Hey, hey, 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 yeah, bro. <laughs> you got the standalone version, my nigga." <laughs> I'm like, what? Like, do you think I got it like that? Y'all must think I got it like that. I ain't got it like that. That's facts. <laughs> I ain't got it like that, bro. <laughs> One day I'm gonna walk you around, walk you around this raggedy ass goddamn place I stay in. <laughs> and y'all gonna finally understand that I'm like y'all. Some of y'all are actually living better than me. If not most of y'all, probably are living better than me. And there's, it, not everything uh, uh, glitter is, isn't gold or whatever the fucking 
<laughs> whatever they say it is. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, there was no indication of that. Hopefully it'll be soon, but realistically, uh, you got to understand uh, the computer is definitely, I know the NPC is a computer. The computer is definitely more capable of handling situations where we're talking about special analysis and, and so forth than the actual NPC itself. Uh, it takes a hot minute for it to transpose a, a sample all the way up, like a sample that is only about maybe 16 bars long. It takes a, a little hot minute for it to process that. So, <laughs> bruh, I can only imagine how long it would take for the stem separation process to be, you know what I'm saying, before it could be actual streamlined shit that people could use and be happy about it. So, you know, that's why uh, Akai Professional provided y'all with a video. And if you don't know, the NPC software itself is like if you are an NPC standalone guy, gal, or whatever, it's exactly the same. Like you just you're just plugging it up to your computer just to look at the screen. The only time you only time you have to look at the NPC software is if you're using VST plugins. That's it. As a matter of fact, I'm happy that the NPC software has seen relevant. <laughs> fixes uh, that it, that was necessary because the software has been a little wonky as of late and that's fact they know that I know that everybody knows that damn sure people on reddit and other people in the other sides of YouTube that you know <laughs> that are tired yeah but anyways so it's kind of good it's kind of a good thing but we're going to find out tonight for real. <laughs> is it going to be on some good shit or is it going to be like this? Because I have yet to fucking use it. Like actually sample something in. I ain't going to hold you guys. I'm terrified. <laughs> Facts. Does the stills work with the... Does, does the stems work with the MPC too? What? What? Uh, I don't know what you mean by that, uh, DJ Sleep Dog Five Hundred. So I'm looking at the chat right now. Software hardware combo is crazy. Yeah, I did. I have. I have some good times with the MPC software. There's some rightful things uh, about it, and then there's some things that necess that definitely need to be changed for sure, for sure. Um, and trust me. Uh, <laughs> They know that too. He said it seems to work well once you get it in there. I don't like that cap. I appreciate the enthusiasm, but I don't know. <laughs> and uh, the biggest thing about stem separation and getting the, the most out of the quality, high quality is the thing. So if you're in a pocket of sampling from vinyl and all that stuff, what could we possibly, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, you know what I mean? That that's kind of that's the kind of the scary part. Uh, does it does the NPC beats to have stems as well? Well, I mean, you still would have to pay for it. Like bottom line. But what what I, what I would do, and, and we're gonna get into that. <laughs> I don't I don't know what I have to pause there, bro. Uh, what did I say, Isaac? <laughs> yeah, but. I don't know with the, the with the stems. I plan on being very disrespectful, violations of all kinds, because I honestly think that's what it's really about. <laughs> like it's about freaking just taking some shit and go running the mill with it. Now, not no. <laughs> Let's not talk about that guy in here, and, and none of the shit that's going on right now with that situation. Holy shit, is is actually funny. It's actually crazy. It's insane. Natural Nas work husband says, uh, when you read that person's chat, it sounded gay. Oh, yeah, it, it did. No diddy. Right. So. It's going to be a violation. I don't think when and this is, you know, Akai ain't the first people to come out with it. You know, people always talking about koala and all that shit. And, and many other companies that have done step separation within there. But I'm going to keep it real with you, bro. Uh, it becomes real when it comes over here. And, and trust me, it's going to be violations all over the place. 
this because people are going to. <laughs> I'm going to take people's drum lines. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I'm going to take famous drum lines, but I'm going to take people's drum lines and do it. Uh, do as I will. Shit. You, are you kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? Um, quick news shit. Uh, you know, uh, I, I saw this. This was interesting. As y'all can peer into my damn algorithm through uh, the YouTube video. Maybe I should have made that obvious. It ain't not like I'm watching something wild. Uh, but yeah, they, they have this thing called Visco. And it's a sample mining drum machine. I'm going to keep it real with you. It's not the first one to do it. Again, it's not about who's first. It's about who does it best. You know, and I don't like that more than the next person. But it's usually the case. When someone else does it better than you, it's like, well, you came up with the idea, Grant. That, that kind of explains the patents in, U in the United States. People got tired of shit like that. But, you know, it's about who does it best, right? Um, so basically, it's a drum machine where you can sound design, theoretically. I I'll let the video play or whatnot. I'm still discombobulated. Hell of a day. <laughs> and this is cool because I have plans on, you know, getting the most out of the MPC software again, because now I, that I can, hopefully there's a VST2 version of this. You know, there's, there's still things they gotta work on. So that's pitch correction. It's not really all that great, because that's how a clap would sound like if you have it pitched down. So real-time manipulation. That's all pitch related. And they're just going through pitch modulation real fast. So where is the actual make a drum sound different? Because all this can be done in any kind of sampler ever. That's more pitch modulation. That, all right. All right, so this is my, you know, and this is not to knock the people over there. You know, I've seen someone, they dropped a video for it or whatnot. You know, I'm, I'm out of the VST plugin talk it's news type shit uh, for a reason. It started to get stale, stagnant, and I felt like the, the industry in itself was getting stagnant. Because uh, I was like, dude, you want me to talk about this damn reverb plugin that's not better than the stock reverb plugin? Like, a real life shit. I'm like, come on, nigga. Like, you really want me to do this? Oh, but you have a Plugin Boutique affiliate link. Come on. Fuck out of here. Dude. <laughs> Not even hurt. <laughs> Not even hurt about Plugin Boutique having there. You know, you know they can move on because there's always someone that can replace you. Uh, you know what I'm saying? That's how, that's how you know, these folks do you. you know, once, they, once they're done using you, they replace you, and then you're on the outside looking in. Um, <laughs> you got to be very aware of that in any industry that you're in. So anyways, fully aware. But yeah, so I'm thinking that, you know, that it was more like this. What, what's that? Uh, shit. Uh, let's get a new link here. It was a plugin that I, I reviewed. I can't think of it because it's been that something drums. AI drums, I guess I'll type that in if, they, if they're smart. There we go. Yeah, emergent drums right here. Yeah, I, I couldn't spell it. Now, Emergent Drums does a lot of things different. Like, you can put in a one shot, and the one shot will be manipulated in ways to where it's just not pitch modulation or adding reverb. It's reshaping the waveform in itself. And when you reshape a waveform, or if you're building a waveform, then you get a whole lot. You get a whole lot of different timbres out of whatever desired drum that you use. You know, most people don't understand that. A snare is a sine wave and uh, white noise uh, filtered and, and then with a tight envelope, you know, that's how you get a snare sound. You know what I'm saying? I've done tutorials on that and nobody gave a shit because, never mind, I'm not going to go there. I'm not that type of spicy tonight. I just really ain't. I'm, not, I'm really not that type of spicy in my life. But I find this to be a better product. Of course, it costs a little bit more than uh, Vesco. Vesco is uh, 99 bucks or whatever. And this is like 150 and it's not because, you know, I've done a video on it and yeah, click on my affiliate link. But dude, if you're going to click on my affiliate link, at least I've recommended a product that I can stand by. If it comes to, if you want to create drums from scratch, uh, it has uh, some very 
peculiar voicing uh, characteristics. Uh, it is, I'm not, I hate to use the term real AI because what isn't real AI, if you look at AI in a, in a nutshell, is just pre-executed scripts. And that can qualify for a lot of things with values, uh, balancing with values. If that do this, you know, there's different kinds of AI, you know. But yeah, you know, I think this is just by looking at it off, off the strip, it's better. Okay, let's get to the STEM shit, bro. Because I know y'all motherfuckers, I know y'all ain't in here uh, just to hear me talk spicy and, and do spicy things or whatever. I'm not that type. If y'all think I'm that type of content creator by nature, I'm not that. I, I refuse to go down that path because I don't have to. It's plenty of people that are like that. You know what I'm saying? I'm far more mature than that. I'm sorry. I'm 40 plus. I don't need to be out here trying to either A, act tough, or, or B, start shit just so I can get attention. I don't. Those two things you will never, you, you ain't going to get from me unless someone is speaking on me. And it's a lie. That's the only time I will speak out again. And some people, they don't even get that because that's all they want. And as long as you know that, then you will have the keys to life. Because people are like that now. They just want, <laughs> they want to see you react and do things and, you know, protect people or protect yourself or whatever. No, nah, don't, get, don't give people your energy like that. What's going on, Chris? All right. Stems. Well. You know, if I'm going to do stems, I'm going to do stems in the most ridiculous way possible. And that means vinyl. I did have my camera set up, but my camera is bugging. Uh, the other camera is bugging out shit because I have way more stuff connected to my laptop computer that it can handle. Uh, when you have too many cameras, cameras take up, they allocate memory. And if you have too much stuff plugged up to your computer, it causes shit to go wild because it doesn't have enough resources to work off of and data, data packets cannot successfully, successfully travel if they are clogged up all the time. Uh, this is Kareem Riggins Records. You already know Kareem Riggins. Dope, 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 dope shit. Uh, this stream, by all means, will probably never ever get uh, out monetized because. I don't give a shit. I want to do what the fuck. I'm tired of fucking being limited to doing certain things, working with certain samples and all this other shit. I'm a sampler. I already know YouTube don't already don't like music as is, even if you do cover songs. So, bruh, if y'all want to support me, I appreciate it. If not, that's fine, because I know you're here to enjoy and hear my opinions on it. All right. I got a whole bunch of shit over here. Got the and, and it works on every MPC, by the way, guys. So it's not just for the key thirty-seven or anything like that. So, all right. But a uh, uh, big shout out to you, my brother. Uh, appreciate the uh, the dono. Uh, show us the way aft. <laughs> I, I'm about to learn the way. You know, I'm, I understand just a little bit of this shit because I you know, mess with the NPC software in the past or whatnot, but I, as of, you know, lately, or as of for a long time, I've said, you know, well, I can do all this shit in standalone, so why not? I don't care about plugins and shit like that. Well, we bike. We bike over here. Boom. So, and the biggest thing about the NPC, um, the NPC software, whatnot, if you have it in controller mode, and I guess I'll demonstrate that. Uh, right now I'm in controller mode. It won't be close enough to where you see it. Uh, it looks like my NPC is frozen. That's not really I'm a broke, bad look. Man, I'm broke. Show us the way, uh -huh. Avenue. Yeah, it's, my NPC is frozen. Yeah, whatever. I had this bitch on all last night. So we'll, we'll find out. Damn, this bitch won't even turn off? It's crazy. Boy, already? Okay. Yeah. So, <laughs> hey man, I know it's not much but shit. I appreciate anything. I just appreciate people pulling up on me. You know what I'm saying? It's nothing against any, anybody. 
damn, is it looking for computer? Why did it just start all the way up into uh, computer mode? It's crazy. I'm broke, man. I'm broke. All right. Hey, man. I know it's not much. But dude here and there, I gotta share the love. Pause. Yeah. Uh, all right. So it is working with the NPC software. As of right now, I appreciate it. Boop, 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 boop. So as you can see, I'm pressing the keys. You see it activating the pads. If I press the pads, it activates the pads. You know what I'm saying? So all that is working in its proper form. There are, there are some other things I've noticed. Uh, even if you don't have the NPC's uh, ASIO drivers, um, if you don't select them in the NPC itself, like it, for example, what I'm talking about is if you go over here, to the hamburger menu at the top left of the screen. And then you go, I think it's, I don't know. It's different because I, you know, I got the, I got on MacBook too. So, you know, it's a little different on there. You probably, you don't, wouldn't select from the hamburger menu, you would select from the top. You know, I have the preferences. I think that was the major difference. <clears throat> see here. Uh, you can activate all your plugins and stuff like here. You can see I have MPC stem separation uh, activated. It has a check mark on it. I haven't installed any of this shit, which I should because Studio Strings bangs and Stage EP comes through in the clutch, but I got Fabric XL and we good. <clears throat> so you go in there, just check and see how things are going. I'm broke, nigga, I'm broke. Just want to show my guy some love. Appreciate Can't it. wait for it in standalone. Yeah, me either. I definitely want it for standalone. Boom, 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 boom. Uh, shit, I wish I could see my damn record player, but, you know, I got the damn key 60, uh, key 37. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. So, like, I don't necessarily need to look at, you don't need to look at the MPC software at all. Like, all this stuff uh, that you see on the MPC, you can control it on here in your software minus one thing and that's the VST plugin part. So theoretically, if you have VST plugins and you know, if you go to, let's see, I have forgot a few things. Uh, like if I had to, how, how in the world I forget how you select VST plugins, but that, that tells you how long it's been. Uh, you actually can bring, uh, damn. It's been that long. Ah, oh, man. <laughs> I mean, you can select it on the NPC, but for those who don't have an NPC and they just use the NPC software, uh, you have to know. That's not what I want. Uh, I want to switch the program. Uh, boy. I'm broke, nigga. I'm broke. I'm out of touch. Program. Uh, no, that's not how you change the program. That's the program stuff. Uh, no, 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 no. If I go to insert, the insert will be for effects. That, that's not, it needs to be on um, plugin program. Uh, you remember there's different programs and stuff like that. Damn. Yeah, I am out of touch with the NPC software. Uh, nope. All right, click on this. Nope. Damn, I'm for real. I'm for real. Forgot. Yeah, dog. I have not used this shit in a while because I was just like, man, fuck this shit. I can do this. Everything standalone, anyways. Everything I care about. <laughs> click at the bottom. No. <laughs> no, that's not how you do it, brother. Now, it used to be like right here. I think what it is is uh, it changed uh, during the iteration, and that shit has me thrown. Like, uh, program one, okay. So, none program. All right. But this directly is a drum track. So, how would I try and change it into a fucking plugin? There you go. I wonder if y'all heard that, because I farted something hard, boy. Uh, that's how you add a program. Don't tell me it's this, uh, the side, no. What? <laughs> I'm tripping. <laughs> how, how we about to give you a tutorial? Stems is not a plugin. I'm not looking for stems, bro. I know what st where stems is at. Stems is in, uh, it's in processing the sample editing menu uh, window. So I already know that. 
uh, I'm trying to change this into a plugin. Uh, we ain't we even got to that part. Uh, said, yeah, I know someone said it. I'm missing one of the views. Uh, that's submix. All right. No, nope, that's send. Run program. Uh, yeah, I'm missing one in the window, so I probably had to go over here into like views. Uh, show mixer window, editor browser. Uh, file browsing. The program channel. Uh, let's see. Set app on the left of the track drop down menu. The what? Yeah, I'm bucked the fuck out, right, guys. I am fucking. Uh, let's see. I think that was one of the things I pointed. I was like, why did why why did y'all change that? Like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, I used that. <clears throat> it's like, oh, if we wouldn't have known y'all used that, we wouldn't have took it away. Like, why the fuck would you take it away? <laughs> like what the fuck? Uh, let's see. Man said it was right there. I, I don't. I didn't see anything outside of you know. I went to view, then I went to uh, yeah. Cause I'm missing. I'm missing a window. I'm missing the where where you select the programs. I'm missing that shit. Top right bar of home. No. Program channel. Oop. Come on, bro. Yeah. Something. No. It should be over there on track. For real. Uh, fast and fold. Custom default. There we go. Uh, anyway. Now, here we go. We have it. <laughs> I told you, I got a crack bit PC. <laughs> so what? No. Uh, what it was is uh, I had to go to this hamburger menu right here and see there's a whole bunch of things that you can add. You can have like the velocity, all that stuff over here. And then you can have the default stuff. There you go. And but anyway, so, you, you know, the only time plugin is not active. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. I know that's I forgot which plugin I have as a default. Which if you could go over here and you can set up your default plugins over here and prefaces. Uh, which plugin do I have? Project defaults? No. Hardware? No. Plugin? No. What the fuck? Where is it at? Project defaults? I bet. Uh, yeah, Studio Strings. So I have to reinstall Studio Strings, I believe. But we're going to go with Fabric Excel. That will be my default. Boop. Thank you for this, uh, the sub. All right, after all that dumb shit. Yes, you do have to teach me how to use it. No, I was like, something is missing. And then I was like, how do you get to it? And then there it is. So the NPC software, I have not, I thought, when I tell you I have not touched this shit since damn 2020. <laughs> well, no, 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 no. It's, I, I've, I've touched it past 2020. Like maybe I think 2021 was when I stopped using it. All right. All right. It is not reflecting what's on the screen, is it? Oh, yes, it is. But yeah, only time that, you know, you had to pull up plugins or whatnot. And you can pull up some of the plugins right here. Like you can pull up the NPC plugins on it. Oh, why not? Yeah, like Fabric Excel, boom, it'll be in there. And it'll pull up. You know, you can then go into program mode or whatever, program edit. Uh, program edit is where on this thing. <clears throat> you can tell I have not uh, been within my good practice. <sighs> I, I, that's not one of the, my favorite things. That I deal with, of course. Wait, wait a minute. I know there's program edit on here. I'm tripping. There's no way. Well, whatever. There. <laughs> that's that's why it's important to just remember some things. 
damn, there's no poker med button on there? Uh, uh, there's there's got to be. Or really, I guess since it's the sounds, so you can go into sounds and then you can edit instrument. But I'm just used to pressing program edit. So I'm alive too, boy. What can I say? I've used that shit forever. No audio, so that means that... And how much noise do I have? Yeah, I have an underlying buzz. So, and I think, let's go over here. I'm, I'm setting up the purposes. This is important. This is really important. I think I'm not going to use the MPC uh, drivers. I'm going to use FL Studio drivers. And if the FL Studio drivers don't work properly, then I'll just go to the MPC drivers. Because I do not want to have weird ass audio. FL Studio. Let's see if it crashes, ladies and gents. Because that was a thing. Are we still here? If we're still here, if you hear me, then everything is good. Yeah, I had to ask. Alright. I don't give a shit about this track. What I do give a shit about is this. So, I guess I can go into full screen, but I just had to at least show that. And that is the wrong thing. Fuck you, camera. I'm so angry. Because I want all my cameras to work, but nope. Can't have it all. So, I'm going to main. So, just, just the, the first thing you need to do is sample something. So, we're going to sample stuff the old, uh, the old school way. We're just not going to pull up a sample so we can separate the stems and compare it to this shit. And that's not it, sample, uh, I need to double tap, and now we're in the sampler. Uh, from here, I'm gonna see if I can select certain inputs. No? And puts one and two. Now, hopefully that'll work. But yeah, I'm in the sample edit window. It will look like this in the software. <sighs> Unfortunately, I won't be able to see what I'm gonna sample, but we're gonna uh, sample this right here. Uh, Kareem Riggins. I'm gonna find a, a drum beat that's good from here. And let's go ahead and test the audio over here too. I'm pretty sure y'all heard that. I heard that in hell. God damn. So, is that relevant? Jesus, that's fucking loud. There. Alright, so there's only one way to find out my vinyl. It's plugged up. I just got a reading on here, so everything should be good. So... I have not found the drums that I want. Okay, I like that shit. So everybody come on. Should be sampling. Alright, we'll know. Everything is low, but still in there. New sample. I'm not gonna, you can name it or whatever on your NPC. You can name it on the computer or whatever. That's fine. We already know that part. Everybody knows that. So I'm gonna keep. Actually, I should have just go, go into sample. It. Thanks, Thank you for the sub. Um, listen to the sample. All right, so the first thing you want to do with any sample, honestly, and I think it, oh, it was working. I guess not now. That's funny. Uh, yeah, so what I noticed is that the volume was working. Mm, I'm not going to talk about that. Just not going to talk about it. 
what I'm going to do is just process, go to the process real quick, and then I'm going to normalize it. Oh, that shit scared the fuck out of me. We still here. We good. <laughs> we good, chat. I'm broke, nigga. I'm broke. Say Florida you. Studio. MPCX. Rip X. What's up, gang gang? Uh, is my turntable uh, belt driven or direct drive? Uh, it is direct drive because I scratch. Like, I, I scratch like, you know what I'm saying? It's It's trash when I scratch, but hey, I enjoy myself. Um, so I got it, now I got it loud. And I don't know why in the fuck it's still so goddamn loud on here. Uh. It ain't, they definitely, never mind. That is definitely wrong. Uh, usually it's relative to the loudness of this right here at the top right side of the screen. But for some godforsaken reason, that's broken. Uh, anyways. It's just annoying, dog. Sorry. <laughs> so we got this. It has sound in it. And I need to get it to the kick. So I'm just editing it now. That might be a little too much. Let's get to the zero point. Boom. There. That way it won't have to pop. And it still has to pop because I'm not on the zero point. And let's get right here. I think maybe right here, maybe eh, right here. I'm being picky, but you know. Yeah. So, anyways, that's good enough. I'm just going to go ahead into process and I will trim it down. I'm not used to the NPC software. <laughs> like, it's changing the screen color and it's fucking me up real quick. Like, I'm like, what the fuck is going on now? All right. So, we have that. So to enter into stems or whatnot, you just, all you have to do is just simply go over here into process and it says create stems. So you have the choice to leave in, you know, your vocals, bass, drum, other, you know, that that's pretty much the vibes of the evening or whatever. Uh, you can create stems for all these and then work with them one at a time. I've seen that. However, I don't know how that works. So I'm going to use, I'm just going to go ahead and just, See if I can separate them all. Uh, uh oh, the KO two. Ah, it's it's pretty good for sampling. It's not bad. It's not bad. What the fuck is this? That is not a good sign. Uh, it looks like <laughs> the MPC software itself has crashed. Yeah, that's a crash. No, is there? It hung on for dear life. That was weird. I was about to fucking say, I like, dude, that is too much, bro. All right. So I guess it's separated, right? It's supposed to be new sample, whatever. If we go over here to chop or whatnot, I don't know anything. The, the way it's shown, it looks like it's just like streamlined and flawless, but I know different. Uh, what you can do is just go over here to the other ones where it has sample base. Like you just select the sample up here to a new sample, which is this. Let's go into trim though. And then yeah, bass. That's pretty good. Uh, drums. I can hear a little remnants of the uh, melody. Oh, okay, so it's not it's not nowhere near as as bad. There's no vocals, of course. Not bad. Hmm. I mean, not, none none of this is bad so far. So basically, what I could do is just go in there and trim, and you know, if I wanted to make the whatever, then I'll just make it whatever. 
Yeah, you can hear teeny bits. It's not perfect, but hey. So how, how would you change it to a, a key group or whatever? It's in your sample pool. So basically, uh, let me show you the sample pool if I can remember, <laughs> right? Uh, so if you go into, on here it's load on the MPC key 37, they changed it to fucking load, but it should be your browser button on everything else. So you go to browse and then you can go into your pools. Uh, if you go and you, if you look over here on this part of the screen, you can see where all of the stems have been separated right here. That's your pool if you're just using a, a keyboard and a mouse. So hopefully you're not doing that. But yeah, you go into your pool or whatever. Uh, you go into sample assign. And then you can see where the bass is at. You can see where the drums is at. You know, and it'll play. You know what I'm saying? You know, it'll play like right there. Yeah, so. All your stuff is right there and then you would just assign it and if you wanted to do it like a key group theoretically then you would just go into like a key group and uh someone's hitting me up on um but anyways it's, it's, it's late at night they're gonna have to wait till tomorrow uh you just go into your key group and then uh go in the program set up a key group or whatever uh and just i guess you'll put the pull in the sample <clears throat> right here where it's a sample and there you go if you want to oh shit you can warp in key groups whoa i never knew that that's funny i never knew that i never knew that so anyways that actually gives me an idea for something I'm doing for, uh, I'm doing an NPC expansion. And there's, I did not know that, but I wonder how much memory will it take from the NPC? But anyways. All right. So we know that the stems are here. Uh, I want to use that drum because the drums is relative to what I wanted to do. I'm going to go back over here to program two. And then I'll just go and assign the sample right over here. I'm still connected to the NPC software. You can also... By the way, guys, you can you can take something that you if you wanted to use stem separation, but you want to work in standalone, just save what you did on the computer right on the NPC and wherever folder that you desire that has all your projects. And then you have everything. I don't know why people have missed that, but yes, you can do that. All right. <clears throat> yeah, so I'm, I'm on the drums. I want the drums to be right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and just press on the data wheel. Then we got it. Uh, also, I wanna take time to actually change the BP fucking M to something worth. So now that <coughs> I can play with the BPM, <coughs> pardon me. All right, so now we have that. Now we can lay it out. It's already on the four bar. I set my stuff up already. Oh, whoops. I forgot it was only like a, a two bar. So I got to do that again. And matter of fact, oh yeah, I'm on the computer. So <clears throat> they need they definitely need to change that. <clears throat> I just turn metronome on while I record. Not necessary. Three, four. So that is wrong. So what do you do in the scenarios like this where the, uh, the time stretch, time warp is wrong, <clears throat> which is wild. It shouldn't be wrong on here. Well, this is how you would do it. Um, you would just go to your tap tempo and tap it in. So play the sample. Three, four, two, two, three, four. What the fuck? Uh, maybe I should not change the BPM. It, oh, actually, oh yeah, I'm tapping it in. So. 
well, turn off warp first. There we go. That's a better idea. Two, three, four, three. All right. Two, three, four, two, two, three, four. And then I'll just play it back. Two, two, three, four. And it seems like that's wrong. Then, you know, you just check the grid. It's early. I played it early, so I'm an idiot. And uh, I'll nudge it over. So it's it has space. It's not looping property properly. So I need to go over here to like maybe 93 BPM. And then just start it over, just hit play start. You gotta time shit in. Yeah, it's still a little slow because it did a little bump. That sounds a little bit more plausible. Uh, we gotta see why it's low in volume. Uh, it's low in volume because now everything that I'm doing is post the fader now. I mean, yeah. So stupid, man. So they need to recode the program to where it's not so buggy. There we go. What I'm doing, I'm just adjusting the volume because it's like mad low. But yeah, I just timed it out. So we know that the sample is, now that we have that information, what we can do uh, when, when warp fails you is <clears throat> you can go over here and correct that time out over here. So the correct time or the time that's closest to what we need is 94.59 and not, oh, the edit button is program button, the program edit, fuck out of here. Uh, anyways, I don't like when mm, somebody has a point. Um, I forgot what it was. Uh, 90, 94.59. 94.59. 94.59. A little bit more on, on code. And then now you can just like stretch shit down and stuff like that. Yeah, so there you go right there. That's one instance of like, so stem separation, it, it seems fine. Uh, there are things that, you know, the competition is doing mighty better, but in the destructive end of it, it's not until maybe <laughs> Native Instruments. <laughs> Lord, Lord help us if Native Instruments does it right. Woo! <laughs> I tell you what, I tell you what. Just, just having it, it's something that is okay for the time is not how you want to do it. All right, so the next thing we're going to sample is this. Uh, we're going to sample this right. I'm just saying, dog, like you, you, to be honest, Ableton RA got it figured out. But the problem, but the problem is, nobody wants that fucking 64 pad shit. <laughs> they just want 16 pads. And guess who does that? Uh, Native is with RX. I, I mean, dude, trust me. They, <laughs> none of the, the issue with the machine, like 100% was the OS. Like it did everything good except for certain things. Like I didn't give a shit that, you know, People were like, oh, the machine, you, you can't pull up the, what, what was they talking, they was talking about the UI being lifeless and shit like that. I'm like, dude, who gives a fuck, nigga? I make beats. I'm not going to complain about this shit. Uh, you sound design, that's good for you. Fucking sound design somewhere else, bitch. But <laughs> I was like, but everything else on this bitch is smooth. Um, but when it came down to the crashing of the OS and corrupted beat files, those are things that stopped me from making beats on there. So I'm gonna get another sample. I'm using the weather report. Well, why did I just instantly pick something weird that I like too at that? Dude, I was just on the groove, that I, uh, the part I wanted. You gonna tell me 
<laughs> he said you took a, <laughs> you took a survey. That's good. That's that's good. That's a good thing, man. Like to to be honest, one 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 company can't have it all, bro. One company can't have it all, uh, nigga. All the them old dusty record heads, they will love that sample if they ain't already encountered that bitch. Weather report be on some shit, bro. Yeah, I hear shit. I really am not trying to loop something. Damn, look at that fucking scratch on this record right here, bro. That's crazy. I think I might have did that too. I don't know. I might have. I don't. I don't know for sure. Um, I did buy this reused. But god damn, that's a deep ass scrape. Like someone really liked that record and someone fucked it up on purpose. No. I fucked it up right there. All right, weather report, no. I'm being picky for a reason, nigga. If you got questions, I am here. But I'm definitely gonna be picky on what I'll lay over what. I'm sorry. <clears throat> and, <laughs> matter of fact, uh, I'm just gonna go with this shit right here. Let's pick out. <laughs> Look, you know, no disrespect, but this man's drums are too far not to take. What the fuck? All right, I said we was gonna get a copyright claim. I wasn't gonna be able to monetize this video. That it's go it's a fact, Jack. You know, there's gonna be there's gonna be motherfuckers, right? They they ain't got no ties to Jay Dilla. That's going to uh, be in the comment section first, talking shit. But they're gonna pull out, bust out a copyright claim, knowing that they ain't fucking with it, know they ain't made that shit, knowing it's supposed to be for Dilla and all that shit like that. Like they taking taking away from the Yancey family. But look, it's possible now. <laughs> Sample Joe Buttons is crazy. <clears throat> Yeah, I'm gonna start a new project. Fuck that shit. I'm gonna start a new fucking project. All right. Well, yeah, that's just the simple shit. And oh yeah, by the way, if you need like solid, you know, you don't want to do all that. Uh, there's always you can always bounce down the track or whatever, bounce down, bounce the sample or whatever, and then you can time stretch it perfectly or whatever. It'd be perfect again. I recommend that, especially if you did a lot of processing and you want to keep it that way. Damn, what is up with this shit? That's ugly. <laughs> That's ugly as fuck. Well, I'm going to get cursed out tomorrow. Just, just being a good guy, I'm going to get cursed out. You know, I'm just, uh, someone, someone's going to be unhappy and then y'all ain't going to see, see nothing from me until like late April or some shit. Like after my birthday. <laughs> Appreciate that boo banger. <laughs> In like real talk. Rich, uh, he said two gigs of RAM. <clears throat> it, this is the software, not the hardware. Yeah, the software is, itself is buggy right now. <clears throat> and it's doing some weird shit right here. <sighs> yeah, I'm in controller mode. I know, right? You would think it'd be faster if it's connected to the computer, but yeah, that's weird. I don't know. It's stuck at 50. Yeah. Anyways, I'm quitting. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, start a new program, a new project, that is. No, don't save this shit. Don't save shit. Just give me the main menu. <clears throat> now we're on the main menu, and I'm going to go ahead and sample something else. I'm going to sample what I want to sample now that I have got some type of clarity. I'm going to sample... This Dilla shit, let's find for something from Dilla that's worth a damn. And that won't be hard, right? <laughs> not, not to mention, uh, and that's no disrespect to Kareem Riggins. Of course, this shit is dope, too. I'm broke, nigga, I'm broke! Thanks for the solid content every time, Brother Avenue. Oh, yeah, that's my shit, too. E uh, MC Square.
This might be, not be the one that I want. I think it's the other one, not the Shining. I think it's the other one. And I have that in my library of shit I'm gonna sample. <clears throat> the one with the 3000 on it. That's a, that's a classic though. Nope. I'm broke, nigga, I'm broke! Yeah, that's already laced the way I want it. I mean, it, that's already perfect the way it is. I don't want that. There is some more disc in here. Or vinyl, or whatever you want to call it. Uh, let's go with the other. Yeah. Am I on PC? Yes, I'm on PC. I mean, I could test it out on Mac. <laughs> I already know how I feel about that shit. Because if I... And look, I'm not going there. But, uh, yeah, I'm on PC, though. Or Windows. Damn, that shit sound like a break tape. Mm-mm. Maybe, maybe not Jay Dilla today. Uh, I'm just not in that pocket right now. You feel me? So Apple runs it like a champ. Yeah, because they because they've developed it more uh, longer for the app for Apple. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> the alpha version that I tested out that wasn't working on my computer was an Apple version. So the Windows version. Look, I've been, I'm, I've been on this like. Many companies don't cater to Windows based um, computers. Trust me. Uh, they must. They, there's a firm belief within every industry that does software to do Apple first. <laughs> except for like FL, except for ImageLine. And even ImageLine, I bet you if I, I promise you, most of their money, the people that buy, buy their shit are not on them Windows. It's Apple. Facts. And that's why the uh, the FL Studio on Mac runs better than it does on Windows, which is crazy. Makes no sense. Something that was always. <laughs> um, what am I digging for? Why am I digging for that? What is right in front of me? All right. So let the copyright claims get in, get worse. Who gives a shit? We're going triple six. I'm going to get a break from triple six mafia. That. Nigga. Boy, I'm not trying to fuck my shit up right now. I swear to God. Uh, let's see. DJ Carly, kill a man. Lord. Fool. Nope. Nope. I think that's a good one to sample just off the strength that uh I'm broke, nigga, I'm broke. Set. 123 likes 296 watching bullshit. That's bullshit. <laughs> no, 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 no. I appreciate that. And thank you so much for the dono, by the way. I, I really do appreciate it. Um I, he, the that's bullshit part probably might be about the uh, the back version of uh, FL Studio running better than the Windows version. <laughs> no, Tyro. No, nah, I'm just this. It is. Uh, and someone made a, a comment talking about backwards compatibility. Yeah, Apple's a Ford company, bro. That <laughs> they say <laughs> if you buy if you buy an Apple product. Oh shit! Here my damn camera goes. This is this is all about the bullshit today, right? If you buy an Apple product, you must know this about Apple. You got any of their older tech? <laughs> they say, kiss my ass, buy the new shit. That's facts. <laughs> That's big facts. I think I'm going to rock with this. Yes, 
This is my that month, that's one of my fucking joints too. The fuck you mean? By three six? Because I am moderately into photography, because mm -hmm. I am moderately into photography, following through the autopsy. But man, fuck. Whoops. Well, I didn't mean to do that, but I'll just undo. And uh Because I am moderately into photography, because I am moderately I wish I could just make this shit louder, but you know, I keep on remembering that my computer, when I do shit like that, um, Oh, there was a way I had to figure it figured out, but you know, old game. I'm gonna just resample it again, make up sure it's louder. Just look into the ass of the man, smacking the egghead to knock out my enemy, fear of the rage of the player, see them pay. Leaving no trace of the evidence, body racing up on top of in pieces. It's so the bros. All right. <laughs> And I know DJ Paul coming for my ass. He like, oh yeah, appreciate the video, man. <laughs> By the way, nigga, you ain't never get no cop. <laughs> oh, big shout out to DJ Paul, man. <laughs> you don't play no games. You shouldn't play no games with your <laughs> I just say it. I know that man. I know that man. Hey man, you know, I liked it what you did, boy. <laughs> my nigga, I, you know I gotta get mine, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh shit big shout out to all the all my brothers in the struggles all right now that we have that uh i'm going to process oh i gotta trim let me let me trim i don't, don't want to deal with all that extra shit the rage of the player, see them pay it. Leaving no trace of the evidence, body racing up on top of in peace. Leaving no trace of the evidence, leaving no trace of the evidence, body racing. Leaving no trace of the. What? What? That nigga, man. Leaving no trace of the evidence, body racing. I mean, man. You just don't understand. I used to bump the fuck out of these niggas to the point to where. <laughs> if it wasn't a fight, wherever you was going, that, that was the ride on the nigga. Uh, maybe I, hopefully. Yeah, it's right here. Boop. Right here. No trace of the evidence, body racing up on top of in pieces. It's the rage of the player, the rage of the no trace of the evidence, body racing up on top of in pieces. It's yeah, that feels empty enough. So let's go ahead and discard. Oop. Discard, now process. Go in here. Create stems. It just doesn't make any sense not to. You know what I'm saying? To like not use all of what you can because it's already it's just gonna be separate separated and shit. <clears throat> so prepare for stem separation. Camera is frozen. What is he talking about? Oh, was it camera one? It must be cam one. Mm mm. Cam one's not frozen. Oh shit. <laughs> I'm laughing at you guys. Oh uh, yeah, it's going through this weird shit. All right. No, nah, the MP. It, it, we went through this before. It did the exact same thing. Nah, that'd be that'd be really bad business if it froze. I mean, if free, it's freezing, but yeah, that's not like this shit right here. That ain't that ain't what's supposed to happen, but it will still do it. Trust me, it was way worse than this. Yeah, when y'all was screaming about, when y'all was screaming about, oh man, we want stems now and all this other shit. I'm like thinking to myself, like, nah, nigga, y'all want to wait on this shit. Wait, because it was fairly new. This was fairly new. This was a spur of the moment type thing. It was like, damn, like, what? How could we? You know, boom, let's do this shit. Boom, you know what I'm saying? Usually when stuff gets announced, like all the old zones, and when we're talking about software, dude, we're talking about years on change. Like it might stay in alpha before even a public beta, or you know what I'm saying? And then they might even do a private beta and test for months, 
and then they'll go into the public beta where it's good enough to where people can't just overly criticize it. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, this is a barrel look, look. Uh, it could have been longer than what it should, uh, what it, it was taken. But people were very, oh, we want stamps now. Like, there's no trace of the evidence body rinse in the box up in pieces. Tis, there's no trace of the evidence body rinse in the box up in pieces. Tis, whoa. All right, there's no vocals. trace of the evidence. That's crazy. Whoa. Damn. <laughs> That's I can steal drums quality. <laughs> Oh shit! <laughs> yeah, you see how small the yeah I noticed that too. Like you see how small this? No, 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 no. Yeah, wait, wait a minute. Nah, this is the kick. Hold on, we gotta listen to it again. Yeah, let me um. Nah, them, nah, them snares are very beefy, bro. Yeah, so it didn't cut right. You know, it did take out some of the frequencies, but I I'll deal with that in time. I don't need, uh, I need it to be one eighth, maybe? Okay, so one. Oop. One. Mm -hmm. Okay. I can make that work. Cool. All right. So I guess I'm going to go ahead and. Damn, shift is all the way over here. Uh, <laughs> Uh, let's see here. Now I'm just going to go ahead and make this into a, its own program or whatever. Then I'm going to go into main. And I should have, maybe I should have tapped it out. Eh, no biggie. Maybe that'll work. So... One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, two, right around here. Oh, hold up. I, I think. <laughs> Okay, maybe that's double. Three, four. And I only need like two bars. And I need to go ahead and edit that last part in there. And uh, I need this. And oh well, I guess 
I could draw it in there. It doesn't really matter. And then I can make it a little bit faster because it's a little bit more room. And say that last snare. Yeah, it sounds a little weird, but we'll figure it out. I, I want to just kind of theorize here. Uh, what? So what has? Whoa! Why is? <laughs> bruh, I was man. Look, I was sitting there. Y'all don't. Y'all had no clue of how bad I was anticipating this shit. I was like, man, fuck, man. It's gonna be officially re released soon. So <laughs> I was sitting out here. I was picking out like records and shit, you know? Hey, look, man, look, come on now. I'm not tripping about this. If y'all know about Curtis Mayfield, then you're, you're just asleep. This has been sampled so many different times. I think I'm about to sample it like, uh, like I want to sample it. But uh, anyways, so Curtis Mayfield. So this is, in this Warner Brothers? If it's Warner Brothers, I'm, I'm cooked. I'm cooked. All right. I don't. I'm about to clean this vinyl. That's the one thing I don't like about vinyl, is you gotta clean that bitch. Right in here. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and sample this shit. Uh, so I'll just go back to this view real quick. It's like, it's like, this man said, yeah, chop that. <laughs> Black History Month is every month, nigga. <laughs> I said to myself, I wasn't gonna be like this on this stream. And, and what I do, stay true to my goddamn self on some dumb shit. I need to learn how to be a sellout. <laughs> For real. Uh, anyways. Uh, I'm going to hit this button and then we're going to hope for the best. All right. Let's go into edit. And now. Uh, why does it do that? I mean, I could make it loud enough. <clears throat> I mean, I, I could record the sample loud, but, you know, I don't want this shit, this stream to sound like shit quality. I don't know how the sound quality is anyways. But uh, <clears throat> if I got distortion or anything in my voice, then that means that the, because I don't know, anyways. Uh, so I know it's the F sharp minor. That's all the shit that I haven't talked about forever. Like, you get the, in, in it information about the sample or whatnot so you get to analyze it it's already there key is detected uh, i'm gonna go over here i'm not gonna do stems yet because i gotta do a little bit of trimming the fuck all right there we go <clears throat> so i'm gonna normalize it so i can get the, uh, ma the maximum amount of loudness out of it i heard like a in the beginning of the sample itself Rip. in my upper head Yo, they gotta fix that. Cause I need to control volume. That shit is too fucking loud, bro. They got to, bro. That shit is annoying. <clears throat> anyway, so I guess I'm gonna trim. I actually like that. So I, fuck it. I don't, I'm not gonna try to trim it for any accuracy because I don't. I'm not trying to lay it over. I'm not looping it. We're actually chopping the sample. Why in the fuck? I hate that fucking bug, bro. Uh, I got to get out of it. That's an ongoing bug. So what, what bug I'm encountering, and this is not just fresh because they uh, added this shit, is a bug where if you're chopping or if you're trying to trim a sample, sometimes this card doesn't pull up in processes. Like right now, it's still not pulling up in processes. And that's fucking annoying. Like why? You know what I'm saying? And that's been happening forever. It's a hard bug to replicate, to show them. So therefore it would stay in, in different scenarios like that. They should have, again, where you can remove silence and shit like that. Uh, I think that that's what this is. Please do it, da, 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 silence the section. Oh, that's the silence, the section. That's not too trim. <clears throat> 
but then you got extract, so I can just extract it when I extract it. <sighs> All right, new sample four. <sighs> Whatever. So I'm gonna go over here, make this into some stems. You know, it's gonna take a minute. You know. And of course the Jeopardy thing is not on there. Oh, you thought you was just fucking stupid? <laughs> no, <laughs> that is an indefinite bug that's existed forever. There's no way to catch it so that you can show it to like, like, hey man, see this shit happens. Cause every now, every now and then it will do it. And of course it's gonna do it on the live stream and, and try to trigger me. Devil be playing with me, boy. But uh, yeah. That's not the song I wanted to sample from Curtis Mayfield anyways. I just something I just hold hair. I, 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 I cannot talk for nothing, bro. I cannot talk. <clears throat> I know I'm not the smartest of people, but damn. Nigga just don't want to do uh or do or stutter. Yeah, it's annoying. Yeah, I tried to I pressed the Jeopardy music button and it didn't work. Like that's how messed up my setup was. Well, at least my workout went well today. That was good. You know, house peaceful. I can't complain about everything. Say so you're stupid. It, it, I mean, you you would have to sample a lot for you to encounter it. Oh yeah, for sure. That's how, that's how live streams work. But it's not as bad as it could be. See right now, you see how. All right, see that weird shit? Like it didn't do any, oh, never mind. <laughs> it was right on time. I was like, look, it, it didn't disconnect from the NPC. Nah, it did, it did it. But it's still going through the process. It just takes a minute. <clears throat> Serato stems or Serato is just like that too. Serato sample too. It takes a minute. Same thing with RipX. It takes a minute to rip the stems. There's not a single piece of software that does it really fast maybe maybe koala i guess i don't know wow that's the bass dude it's like it's like it's an actual track you can hear some aliasing some some of that but wow Yeah. Wow. Wow. Um, I wish I was putting on on that one. Shit. It's like <laughs> now you have like more liberty. Yeah, I know, and I and I even normalize it either. If I would have just no, um, like normalize it, it'd be even crazier. So I'm gonna pick this shit out. Um, I don't know what the fuck that's all about. Oh, that's the word to play it will play at, but ship and zero step. What are you doing? And, tr and truth be told, I don't even have to use the F minor. I can, I could have just, what I could have theoretically did was change the pitch of this whole entire sample. You know what I'm saying? 
You know, and, and matter of fact, I think I'll do that. I'll just go ahead and do uh, take you through the painful ass process again. Well, it's not painful. I'm just being a dickhead. But uh, I can just go over here to this part. And then I'll just go in the process. We're going to go ahead and... Uh, you son of a bitch. Dude. Oh, that's cool. I just noticed what it was doing, too. So I can... Oh, that is cool. Actually, actually cool. So you can actually uh, put it in whatever program you want. That is actually helpful for anybody that finger drums. All right, pitch shift. I don't really want it to be the exact same goddamn sample. That's not why we, I mean, the reason why we sample is for familiarity, but if, if you want to be obscure with it, this will be the better solution. We're going to just, uh, then I pitch down. Uh, and then I pitch down uh, the vocals. Rip. In my upper hip. <laughs> <laughs> Let's pitch this bitch down, though. That's funny. Said a Kai Stem sound the best. Ah, uh, it sounds really good. That's factual. That there's no one that really can take that away from them. It does sound really good. Uh, is it the best? Like. You'd be hard pressed. Like, I think all the stem separation that's been implemented that I've heard is really good. Uh, I think, and I know people going to say, oh, well, you had a problem with those guys. Uh, the koala sample, the koala shit, it was good enough. It was okay at best. It wasn't on the level of like Serato or this or Rip X and stuff like that. So, I mean, truth be told. But people going to call me a hater. Doesn't matter. That's my real honest opinion. Uh, but more power to people that want to make beats on their iPads. That's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. I do that too. I almost had a little bit of smoke. I <laughs> started thinking I was a little more. But no. Rip. In my upper heel. All right. So now I can go back to business here and chop the fuck back up again. Something like that. All right. All right. I've, I've been procrastinating. I know people are like, oh, why is he not so fast on this shit? 
nigga, because my motherfucking ass hasn't been playing with it like everybody else. Nothing wrong with that. Big salute to everybody that's been playing with the shit. Nigga, I haven't been playing with the shit. If I was playing with the shit, I would have had a fucking video. Thanks for the subs. All right. Okay. So, I have my drum line, which is on... And I got something, I got a trick for that because I want to make those drums bigger than they are. Big shout out to Marlo Diggs for the tip. He gave you this tip a long time ago and you girls need to pay attention. Oh my god, did it, it oh my god, <laughs> it crashed on me? It's crazy. Oh damn. That's crazy. <laughs> oh nigga can't even have fun. That's crazy. No. Nah. Yeah, it crashed. Right. Y'all let me know what y'all experience is with these stems, yo. Like if you had it fixed, if, if <laughs> bugs fixed, nah, it was it was it was so bad at one point to where all I did was just open up the software. Like you just open up the software, and when you went to go, my experience with it, I already talked about. When I tried it out uh, beforehand, first I couldn't in install it. That was not anybody's fault. And things go, could go awry with alpha versions, right? When I got it to work and got it installed, when I tried to separate the stems or whatever, it would crash. So if y'all are asking, like, why am I do a video on it? Dude, that's, that's why. That it crashed. I'm like, no, this, this ain't it. And, you know, and if it was like doing that during the alpha build or whatever, that's fine. But uh, this is after the fact. That's not cool. That's not cool. That's not cool at all. Bruh, I'm not fucking with this shit. Like, why in the fuck? <laughs> like, why in the fuck? Hold on, man. <laughs> Let me get my shit together. <laughs> that really killed my vibe, bro. Yeah, if it's if it's not working in if it's not working properly in and that's not to say that crashes don't happen. That's not to say that crashes don't happen. You know, we, we all deal with it. You know, FL Studio will forever be crashing every once in a while. And then, you know, what I'm saying same thing with Ableton. I've experienced crashes in that. Uh, you know, but yeah, I don't think. Are you streaming on the same PC? Yeah, I mean, I'm streaming on the same PC, but I've never had these kind of issues with other things. Like, I've used Serato. I've used Serato Studio 2. I've used Serato Sample 2. And mind you, I had pre-release builds, and they functioned. They functioned decently enough. So, I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of pissed. I'm like, I got I to gotta wait. I just got to sit, sit right here for a second. Kind of gather, cause I don't want to say anything. Yeah, my nigga, I, I definitely had to hit the black, bro. It said asking chat. There's some nerds in here. Does MPC stuff work with the M Max M2 Max? Uh, yes, the M. Uh, the NPC software works on my Mac. I have the MacBook Air M1, the base model. 
the the real cheap one, which I wish I would have bought. Like <laughs> the base model is great. It does a whole lot, mind you. It does a lot, uh, but I'd much rather have spent like fifteen hundred, two grand on a MacBook with the uh, with their Apple Silicon. Just makes more sense. Oh boy, just give me a second. Mac chill. <laughs> Y'all gotta chill, man. Y'all gotta chill. <laughs> and, and that alone, like the stuff that you know, I'm gonna leave that off my string. Uh, but the stuff there, I mind you, I'm, I'm nigga, what? I might end up doing content like this if shit like this happens more like that. Like, I'm gonna start doing. <laughs> like I'll just say fuck it. I won't be like everybody else, being a nigga shit, nigga shit. But. Yeah, a little pay more. <laughs> more people will come to the stream. I'm just saying. Say, so what is my audio setup? Uh, I'm running up. Well, I'm sampling from the MPC. Like, you can plug up your, your turntable to your MPC, even if you have the MPC in, uh, in computer mode or whatever. Like, I have, like, right, I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you. Uh, I'll show you uh, my audio interface. Uh, no, nah, that's it. That that tr that beat is lost, bro. But what made it stop? Like, what the fuck? That's crazy. Like, look, I'm still pressing it right here. Like, it's two. It. Let me see if I can go into a uh, sample editor. Uh, maybe I can sample or no sample edit menu window. Sample edit. Yeah, so, I mean, it's working, but what the fuck? Like, why is it not sequencing, though? Maybe the audio drivers, like, crashed. I don't know. Maybe that, that's possible. Uh, maybe I'll just, I'll save it. Yeah, how about that? I'm going to save it and I'm going to reopen. Save project as. And I'm not going to save it on my desktop. I'm going to save it on my MPC. <clears throat> All right. Uh. Which one is it? Okay. Da, 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 da. So it didn't crash, but it just really fucked my vibe up that it just stopped like this. I, I'm, bruh. I, I've been waiting for this shit for forever. Like, you know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't want to be negative or anything like that for real, but I have waited for this shit forever. No, I didn't. I didn't want to come with no negative energy, all that, dude. Y'all know I fuck with this uh, NPC shit like none other, like unbiasedly. But yeah, that's crazy. That is crazy. All right, I'm gonna name this shit what? It's definitely gonna be a funk. Whoa, hold up. All right. Curtis. All right. Okay, so that's good. It, it saved. Uh, it saved, so that's a good thing. You know. <clears throat> Sorry about that. I, I closed the uh, above the clouds to hit the top arrow, arrow top right. <laughs> no, I'm saving this bitch to my uh, MPC, bro. No, because I was really feeling this shit. Like, come on, dog. I can sample Curtis Mayfield in any way possible. I can sample anybody, anything, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I've been waiting for this shit, you know, to, to come to what I like, you know what I'm saying? Maybe it'll be all right. I'm going to reload it. All right. File. So resets. Reload that. So. All right, let's recompile in the project. Let's hope. 
It is not playing. Fucking bitch. I don't get that. So what broke it? I don't I don't see what what broke the uh the player. Close and reopen it. Yeah. Let's try that. Yeah, I'm not going to like I said, I'm not going to scream at the top of my lungs and act all whiny about this shit because I want my stems and blah blah blah. Said the audio setup. Yeah, you know, I'm not going to do that. Uh, no, nah, my it's. I don't think it's the audio. Cause if it was the audio, my my vocals, like when the when the audio crashes in the MPC software or any other DAW, it will crash the OBS because it'll you know they're using them spot at the same time. So, no, I didn't see the playhead moving. See, that's that's what's the biggest problem. I didn't see the playhead moving. So, which is very weird. That as a software developer, uh, it should run at the software at, oh at its pace, like at the is available resources. I mean, yeah, I I understand where you're coming from. Hmm. Uh, change the interface, then change it back. <laughs> Y'all, hey, y'all, y'all sound like y'all been been dealing with this shit. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. I mean, no doubt for sure. All right, let's reload the price. Oh, well, first, uh, let's check the uh, the NPC itself. Okay, the NPC itself is working. Okay, that's good. And let's go over here. Yeah, but there's th there's a couple of things they need to touch up though, for real. Like there's certain things like this, not this supposed to work as volume, just like as a level. When you set your level, this is very important to me as a content creator, because when you play like samples and stuff like that, uh, them playing at this maximum normal level is ridiculous. All right, let's play it. Please, Lord Jesus. <laughs> Oh, thank the Lord. I don't know where I'm going to go from here, though. <laughs> oh, oh, damn. Okay, so I sampled 3-6, stole one of their, uh, one, of, one of their drum lines. You know what I'm saying? Uh, DJ Paul, uh, Evil DM coming soon, maybe? No, let me not do that to DJ Paul. Big shout out to him. Uh, got Curtis Mayfield. Mayfield. Uh, we got that going. Uh, maybe I'm going to go with the bass, and then I'm going to add like him singing and chop that up. Okay. We, we good. We good. All right. Yeah, I, I want it to be. Uh, boy, I'm telling you. I'm, it's try, I'm trying my best. Maybe I should lay my. I'm. I'm been trying to to be quiet and nice to everybody. No, I wish the success for for everybody. You know what I'm saying. I, I'm trying not to be harbor onto shit. <sighs> All right, bass, Fabric Excel. I think I can find a. There's a sub bass in here. That's cool. Uh, set it to a D minor, even though it won't it won't change the keys, but just uh, well, yeah, no D. There we go, minor. So it would be. Oop, no, definitely not a C. Up. Hmm? Okay, I was about to say, I'm like, what? Yeah, that 
bass loud as fuck. Told you, man, this shit is stupid. Um, can I turn it down again, though? There we go. Oops, it might help if I do this. Whoops. Uh, can I double it without it sounding weird? Okay. Did record it? Okay. Computer weirdness. Okay, now track four. Track four is gonna be a sample, so I'm gonna go ahead and just prep that shit up. Go back into the sample edit, go on my sample pool. Pull up the goddamn uh, vocals. Oh, my dumb ass pressed the key because the key, I'm an idiot. Cause I'm just because just I'm an idiot. Even no trace of that, even no trace of that evidence, but even no trace of that evidence, body rings in the box up in pieces. I, I should put that in there. I forgot I put I used two things uh, vocals. Go over here. Let's chop it manually. Yep. In my upper heel, in my upper heel, in my upper heel. <laughs> I guess it's time. <sighs> Why is it on the fork healing? Take another trip, 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 take another Take a rip. All right. Rip in my in my ear. Time. 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 Take enough. Take three. Don't care now. Don't care now. Don't say. Don't don't say say say. All right. Uh, maybe. Maybe I should be a little bit. Don't care now. What nobody. Don't care now what nobody say. Don't care now what nobody say. Time, time. I don't know. I don't really care. I'm just going to just go ahead and do it. <clears throat> That's what's wrong with me. I just don't really take the time. But, uh, whatever. <laughs> and again, ain't going to never get no placement. Who gives a shit? Well, I do have placements. I'm, I ain't gonna never have a platinum plaque. <laughs> say, say. Cause I. Oh, it crashed again. It crashed again. Yep. See. Ah. Uh, I'm mad. Uh, it did sound like um, uh, right here. It sounded like. It did come. It did uh crash something right over here let's go to preferences let's go to audio no fl studio is there um at least you could save it it's just something weird that has to do with the audio it's an audio bug fuck yeah that shit got me salty trust me i'm salty as fuck uh 9.99 i guess <laughs> Damn! Is that the software, or, or am I doing it from the Key Thirty Seven? No, it works on all the NPCs. Like if I go and grab my Live Two that's sitting right over here, uh, 
and I plug it up, it will definitely work. It will work. Now, will it crash? Will it not crash? Bruh, that, that's the question. Um, but so far, it does not crash the whole entire software. I guess that's an upside because you can at least save it because I would have been heated. But other than that, yeah, you would have to, like, you occur, this occurs, then you would have to, um, like, restart the software. And that would suck. <laughs> dollar store <laughs> dollar store stems is crazy. <laughs> you niggas. It's a, a upside to crashing. <laughs> I'm just saying, you know when shit crash, crash, and you lose every fucking thing, and that really puts you in a f Bro, me thinking about that shit makes me mad. But, you know, at least you got it. Like, I, at least you still got your beat and shit like that. Now, I just don't, I, I'm, I'm just not pleased with the way it's operating while I'm trying to get funky. <sighs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, all right, you can connect to this. Or, well, it's connecting. Got that brolic laugh. <laughs> Someone said I laugh like Eddie Murphy. Uh, that that sounds about right. Uh, but yeah, that shit is crazy. That is crazy, man. Oh, uh, who knows? Who knows? I hope that they definitely work. I'm pretty sure they're working on that. But that shit right there is. I was expecting to be streaming for about four or five hours. Like, all y'all motherfuckers are gonna go to bed and I'm still streaming. Like, yeah, I'm still chopping shit, still getting copyright stripes. <laughs> stripes. Wow. Copyright strikes. <laughs> like, dude. <laughs> and it's not copyright strikes, it's copyright claims. My bad. So I really messed up on the terminology. Woo. Your boy. And <laughs> Napalm killing me over here. <laughs> yeah, it got me on that. It got me thinking that. Software crashing? Bad. Well, it's... Eh, uh, I don't know if it's not the whole... It's the audio sync... From what I see, from what I've analyzed, is the audio right now. If I was to tell you what was wrong with it. Now, off top, this doesn't work right here, right? This is supposed to be, like, if I have the level down here, none of this shit should be this loud, like, past this threshold. But it's still louder, you know what I'm saying? It's still loud as shit, even though I had this turned all the way the fuck down. Because that's supposed to be playing from the software itself. Same thing with the samples and stuff, too. The main reason why I know that is because, dude, I've worked with this software for a long time, you know what I'm saying? Just enjoying it when it was, you know, wasn't doing all this extra. And that's kind of like the downside of when you add shit to software. Like when you ask, a lot of people don't understand, like, you know, um, it's quick to jump on companies about certain things. Uh, the, the developers definitely take L's when shit like this, when it's like this, but normally when you add stuff to your software, something gets fucked up. You're looking at lines of code, Really, they're not looking at lines of code. They're actually looking at a framework, the engine or whatever, similar to like Unity, which by the way, I'm, I'm thinking about sliding into making video games. Truth be told, <laughs> I'm, I'm really thinking about what can I do next? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And it has nothing to do with the STEM shit. It's just me and my mind. I just, I've been in my head a lot lately. So, not, not video game. I just love video games in general. I mean, the money is good. It could be good if, if something comes of it, developed properly, a properly developed game, and it doesn't take much. The games I play are usually around 19 to 5 bucks, and they usually give me more fulfillment than most AAA games, especially when I play, like, roguelike games. And roguelike games are really dope. You know what I'm saying? If you're into roguelike, there's... You know, that's a subgenre that's been on the rise. It's been around for a long time, but it's made a resurgence because of some of the road like games. I'm not gonna get into that spill, but when you are a developer, 
you know, your team or whatever, it, it's, it's extremely chaotic. It's extremely chaotic uh, when you add something new to the game. Like a lot, like I've been lot, looking at like some of the people over. All right. Audio? Any audio? Tell me. Any audio? I see the audio moving. There's audio, now it's on? Okay, cool. All right, we're just going to exit out of STEM. We're just going to exit out of this shit. This shit is, uh, it's, it's going to, it's, it's doing too much. It's doing too much. Uh, don't say. All right. Part is okay. Uh, we're just we're just gonna we we gonna kick it. We're gonna kick it. We're gonna talk, we're gonna talk about some things. So, and it's re it's relative to what what we're what we're experiencing. And I'm gonna try to be mature. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to be mature about it. Okay. So I smoke a black. So when, when companies add stuff, and this is always something I don't like about certain, you know, things that I've already know is if it ain't broken, no fix, no fixie, no fixie at all. Like, I'm going to give a good example. Remember when FL Studio went from FL 11 to FL 12? It was a huge jump for them. It was things that weren't working, but it was things that was honestly better in a certain opinion, you know what I'm saying? It, it was working okay. They changed the UI. They changed a whole bunch of stuff. People were upset. Uh, I remember Metro Boomin talking about how FL10 sound uh, was better, had better sound than FL Studio 12 and all this other stuff. And, and that was untrue. And they even Image Line stepped in to, to show the scientific facts and all this other stuff. All this is irrelevant. Metro, I'm, I'm not beefing with you, my brother. I know you. I, we fuck with each other in real life. That's what it is. I'm just talking about something. But, you know, uh, the shit changed. There was some crashing. There were some things like the when you loaded up your VST plugins, it was doing some weird shit. It was taking forever. And, you know, just so many different things. And then, you know, FL21, FL20 came out correcting a couple of things. And, you know, and then, as you know, FL Studio 21 is at a very good space. But it had, you know, to take some time. They're still adding stuff. And, you know, any different developer will tell you that. Am I excusing, you know, the simple fact that it's doing that? No, I'm not. It should be better in this, in this course. Um, my experience with the NPC stems uh, outside of the bugs have been, it's okay. It's pretty good. Like, it's much better than, I, than advertised. Mind you, I've watched everybody's videos. I don't have anything against all, anybody that's got the stems to work the way they are. It worked the way it is. Uh, I'm, you know, just trying to <laughs> be a guy that enjoy that enjoys the get <laughs> FL Studio converters. Uh, <laughs> Look, man, I, I definitely don't need all that. I would ignore it anyways. I'm not gonna go there. But anyway, so, um, yeah, so 
with any software when they add shit. It's just the worst thing in the world, honestly. Uh, it might be great that people get new features and all this other stuff. And we get, when we get new features, it's cool when they work and stuff like that. But it was not cool when you can't do certain things because they're broken and that part of the code is messed up. Or, you know, we have all experienced it. I've experienced all kinds of shit with the MPC software, standalone and all that, dude. Uh, it's, but it's just like the very nature of the beast. Um, one thing I will say about Akai, like, just like FL, when it comes, I mean, Image Line, when it comes down to FL Studio, they don't play no games when shit is fucked up. Obviously, one of the things, I, it, it might get on my nerves that we have some people in our space in, in the MPC world that just be on some old wild shit, and some of the people are 100% fake. Like, not even 90% fake, 100% fake. But, I will say this, uh, when people have complained or whatever, Akai's usually on it. So eventually it will be better. That's the, the bright side of looking at it. Um, I wish it was 100%. You know, I, bruh, I kid you not on that, but. Uh, it worked for, <laughs> for like what? <laughs> it worked for a little bit <laughs> you know i'm just looking at the chat right now uh i'm just gonna go ahead and play some uh background music so we can vibe for a sec but it was working it's just not working how it should work that is unfortunate You recently bought an MPC One Plus. I'm wondering if I should have spent that on an FL Studio. Not gonna lie. <laughs> uh, the I mean, the MPC One Plus is pretty good. It's pretty good. Um, the whole weird shit is with the stems right now. I guess it's just a lot of weird shit going on. Uh, I can only imagine. <laughs> I can only imagine <laughs> <No>, what's going on. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, I'm, again, I'm not going to. As bad as I want to make jokes, as bad as I want to uh, flip, uh, when I do certain things, dog, it just gets amplified. So I don't, I try to keep it kosher. <sighs> but no, just... The MPC One Plus is cool. FL Studio is cool too. I mean, for what it is, um, not the way I like to work, honestly. Not anymore. Um, I don't. But I'm old. I've been using FL Studio since goddamn I was 19 years old. You know what I'm saying? I'm old as shit. For all the years the FL Studio's been out, I've been using it. So, <laughs> just to let you know that. Uh, you know what I'm saying? And a, a lot of the people that make tutorials and stuff like that weren't around to teach me, uh, mind you. So, you know, you got good sources of information, people out there of all kinds. If you want to be entertained by that, absolutely. Um, I'm not uh, just like an NPC head to where, oh man, you, you click buttons, you want to click the mouse? No, I click the mouse. If that makes you happy, if you're doing your thing, I got homies that click mouses, click mice, and goddamn make millions of dollars in this shit. Uh, goddamn do that shit in FL Studio, and them niggas is nice. You feel me? Like, I got a homeboy that did shit. He makes beats with the F with the keyboard, with the regular keyboard on in FL Studio. The nigga is nice. All right, so. Uh, you use uh, FL Studio in 1998? Yeah, so I'm, I, I, I ain't gonna lie. I'm not gonna cap and say that I started in 1998. Uh, I started in 1999. Uh, that's when I got my first computer. Uh, that's when I started with FL Studio and I'm just gonna leave it like that. But then they, FL knows that I had a, a bootleg copy. <laughs> they pressed everybody, made sure they got their money. Have I ever used EJ to make beats? Yes. I 
I think uh, outside of using the MPC 2000, I was making beats on the Sony PlayStation. I was make, uh, using Music Generator. I have my copy over here somewhere. Um, I always pull it out just to flex. Damn, where is it? Oh, shit. Oh, I, oh. I know I have it somewhere. Um, and then, you know, FL came in, FL gang came in, FL studio or Fruit Loops at the time came in. A uh, friend of mine, he was already nice at using that I'm shit. I'm broke, nigga, I'm broke. I just don't like you because you made me buy my first MPCX when you got MPC live. <laughs> He's just like, don't like me, I got your X MPCX. So you spent the extra money. Uh, I mean, there ain't nothing wrong with the X. To, to be honest, I'd much rather have my ex in front of me than anything, or, but it's just humongous and I don't have the space in here. Same thing with the Key 61. I love the Key 61. I just don't have the space for it. Uh, and I love my damn uh, Live 2 and my Live 2 go goes everywhere with me. You know? Um, yeah, Music Generator was my shit. Uh, that I used Acid, you know what I'm saying? That's why when I, I found out that DJ Payne, well, I'm like, nigga, you're still using Acid Pro? Like, are you for real? Like, that's what you make your beats on? Well, well, bro, more power to you. You you have freaked that some bitch. I didn't have that time and patience for Acid Pro. I moved on to <clears throat> Magic's Music Maker. I used that for a while. And then, a friend of mine uh, brought over Cakewalk Sonar and told me, man, Cakewalk Sonar is the shit. Tried it out, didn't, it was okay. It was okay. You know, I ain't gonna say it was garbage. His beats were fire, but he, he did shit. He did dance hall beats. So, uh, you know what's crazy? The NPC still hasn't, uh, anyways. Uh, fast Tracker. I haven't used any other trackers outside of the PolyN Tracker. Uh, PolyN Tracker was really dope to me when I first uh, used it and and uh, I wish I could use it more, but uh, I just, once I like what I like, and I do think, and that's why I haven't sold the PolyN tracker. I, I don't know if I want to sell it because the way trackers sample is far more, is, is, it is very unique. And it's very unique in a good way because you're generating stuff and you're working in a different way in a grid uh, that, can exuberate some very strange production. It's another level of sampling. Um, so that's why I ain't sold it because it's something I would probably use just to fucking use. Uh, I am gonna sell a lot of my gear though. That's for sure. Um, Big Cap is still up in this thing. Cap, Cap must be over here laughing his ass off and shit. Said Kate Walk had a strange workflow. No, I thought the workflow was okay. Uh, linear timelines are fine. They're just fine. Like linear timelines are fine. Uh, there's nothing wrong with them. You know, uh, Cubase, I work with Nuendo. Is that even a thing anymore? Does, does, I haven't talked to the people over there at Steinberg in a minute. I know they wanted me to push one of their plugins to get more traffic to their website and some shit like that. I was like, yeah, blah, blah, blah. And he, I think I think the homie, he asked me a MC, MPC's question too, so. Oh, rip, as in it doesn't work anymore. Wow. I mean, it's not around anymore. New window, but I use new window to record vocals for like, you know, songs that we recorded and shit like that. And then I moved on to, uh, damn, what else is that? I, it was between that and Cubase. Cause Cubase, I got it for like 600 bucks. Yeah, and I used to record the vocals in there. It was just really dope. And then I got like magic, magic samplitude. I had a bootleg copy of that. And I liked the way that, you know, you could, yeah, it was all kinds. Of, but the only thing that sucked though is with back then, there was no way to stem shit out properly. So and you had to stem shit out in Pro Tools and dude, like there was labels trying to sign me as a music producer and a rapper. And yeah, I was pretty decent at rapping when I really gave a fuck. Um, <clears throat> but I, I was in a group too. I was a, in a group with my homeboys, a good friend of mine. Um, I'm still cool with to this very day. I'm, I'm fairly cool. You know how group things go, you know, you break up, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, um, yeah, <laughs> but I've worked with a lot of different DAWs and shit like that. 
uh, over the time. I could just teach every single last one of them. So Cubase was your, I can, I can imagine that, Q, that Cubase has a loss of thunder. It was, it was solid. Um, I was really big into logic until they switched over to Apple and I didn't have Apple money at that time. I, I don't have Apple money now. So, you know what I'm saying? It's kind of crazy. <laughs> Natural Nas work husband is wild. <laughs> it's wild. <laughs> that, I just noticed the ghetto styles. Nintendo is still around. Uh, it, it's on version 13. Oh, the window. Oh, the window. I, I don't know why I saw Nintendo. The window. Ghetto styles. How has your experience with the NPC stems been? I must know. I must know. Have you experienced a lot of crashing? Has it been smooth? What What's the deal? Uh, sun one up two, bro. I can't make any beats. It keeps crashing. Like it's still like I've closed it out and everything, and it's still hung. Like if I was to try to force like force restart it, it would shut the stream down. Yeah. Trust me, dog. I, I have piles. Look, I'm gonna show y'all. I've been playing in this shit since forever. I was like, yeah, we getting the stems. <laughs> we getting the stems. <laughs> Ghetto Styles ain't said shit yet. I, I had my three six over here. I like, cause I, you know, I bought this for a reason. I bought it for the one mixes mystic styles. So no mistaking it there. I was gonna, you know. And I was gonna sample the drums. But I mean, I got, I, I already got those drums anyways. <laughs> Call Andy and get it working is crazy. Nigga. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised this man just, man, look, I'm trying, I'm trying my best not to be a dick. I'm trying my best, you know, to kind of play this as smooth as possible. I don't want, I, you know, I, so, certain things, you know, you, you, you learn to kind of mature and not be like others. Uh, Y'all don't know what this is, it's cool. Uh, mind you, it has some dope ass spoken word shit on here. I got Kareem Riggin shit over here. Like I already planned what I was gonna do. Like what I was gonna do, I got French records over here. Flying Lotus shit. We was gonna uh, experience it all. I mean, for what we just have, what we know, the quality is very good. The quality is very good. The workflow isn't difficult. I thought it was gonna be difficult because the way, you know, I seen people show it off in videos uh, and it's not. As a matter of fact, I commend them <coughs> for the way that the stem separation works. <coughs> but for it to crash while I'm making a beat though, while I'm making them, not even during the, like if it crashed during the separation process, cool. Yeah, it's just like, well, it wouldn't be cool. It's just be like, okay. But I'm getting busy and I try to chop up a sample that's been separated. Like it's not during any, like I don't have any problems doing any other samples and it just crashed. Like, come on, man. That's, that's a, that sucks. You, matter of fact, let's see if it'll crash in the standalone. Right, well, let's see. Uh, all right, that was the problem. Okay, <clears throat> there we go. All right, let's see if it crashes and stand alone. Fuck it. <laughs> right. All right, let's see if it'll crash and stand alone. Now, if it crashes and stand alone, that's crazy. Oh, and I see. I see what people was talking about. It did uh, freeze. Deactivate. Activate. All right. So it did. Yeah. Shut up. Just, just reset. All right. Let's see if it actually crashes in standalone. Everything now is in standalone. And I will unplug this shit because I do not feel like hearing any of the bug it, no nasty anything. Boop. Come on. Come on, Dorothy. 
All right. Let's see if it crashes. Uh, empty project. The main load places. Did I say? I don't even know which. Hmm. Uh, NPC song projects. Uh, I named it Curtis Mayfield, so it'll be under. There we go. Load the project up. <laughs> yeah, they probably. <laughs> uh oh. No audio. And that's not because or anything went up. Uh, y'all, for y'all to talk about went up is crazy. That sounds about right. All right, so vocals is right here. Um, let me take that needle off and turn that on. Say, say, don't catch me. Take a deal in my upper heel. In my upper heel. I guess it's good. So it does, okay. It's not crashing on this end. So standalone is <laughs> save. So this is how you, fuck. Why would I even, it should just work. It should just work. But you know, in the meantime, uh, in the meantime, you probably would benefit from just doing the STEM thing, right? <clears throat> doing your stem thing. Why? Where is the fuck is my damn thing? There it goes. Like you'll probably benefit from just doing your stem separation in in this whatever it's called controller mode or whatever the fuck, and then just saving the project and continuing and stand alone. That's the best way I would say you would want to do that. And it's not tedious to unhook it from the software. You would just basically menu dive and go in the menu and then just, you know, just get out of it. So, but that works. That may say RIP Moog and RIP Akai is crazy. <clears throat> yeah, so it's not, it's not like it doesn't work. You, know, you can't make it work. It's just, uh, <laughs> If you're gonna continuously work in the MPC software, it's just not the best thing to do. <clears throat> it's just not. Not right now. Not until they fix it again. <laughs> again. <laughs> again. <laughs> God damn. Say, <laughs> so I, I, you don't vibe well with the MPC software? Yeah, I know. Say, so a good controller, maybe? <laughs> no, no, no. The MPC software wasn't wrecked like this. When I got to it back in 2020, I would say that the MPC software was smooth. It was a, it was smoother than almost every single DAW at that, you know, something that was comparable. As far as like integrating, pushing it, you know, operating it, it was great. When they started adding a lot of stuff, that's when things started becoming crazy. Like that's always the case with every software, every game update, all that crap. When you add shit in, uh, appreciate it, Palm. Uh, hype beast, that it's it too much. We need to, too much. We need to simplify. Say so yours work fine in FL. Say sample take was your shit. 
Yeah, I used to, that was what I used to sample uh, all my Akai C CDs on in sample in uh, sample tank. I still have it on there. Hype beast dad, uh, hype said the NPC played out. <laughs> <laughs> I probably feel that way too if I had the five thousand. Nah, I'm just fucking with you. <laughs> Damn. Nah. Um. Yeah. So. Yeah. But yeah, you can just use the. Uh, this is just annoying. Oh man, I'm about to go to bed. Fuck this shit. It's one twelve. Goddamn. I, I can't, <laughs> but I appreciate it. You said you sold your uh, uh, 5000 because of EA Ski. <laughs> so you, need, you needed someone else's advice to, to sell your stuff? That's wild. Yeah, I get it, but that's wild. Did you get, did you get you a, a SP-1200? <laughs> Get you a uh, SP twelve hundred. Yeah. Told go. We have questions, dude. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with the SP twelve hundred. If you say so. It, look, I understand that people like uh, legacy gear because, you know, someone made a beat with it as hard as a motherfucker and, you know what I'm saying, all that. And then, then people get into this whole type of spiel about stuff. Look, I, I'm, I'm done with those type of arguments, dude. Um, but if you, if you love the 1200, you love your 1200, and you can make bop bops and all that, then it, in my opinion, wouldn't matter anyways. What, what would matter is that you are making bop bops on your thing and it's, it's getting your enjoyment out of it. That man said his uh, SP-1200 sits in the corner. It's crazy. If you don't just sell that some bitch for the, the inflated price of seven grand, <laughs> that's a fucking car, bro. <laughs> that's a fucking car. <laughs> Right. Yeah, just make your bop bops and enjoy it. Yeah, for sure. Uh, what is the oldest sampler that I have in hardware? Holy. Uh, the the MPC 3000. Uh, the 3000, no? Which is older? The it, no, uh, the SR... Uh, the SR... Was it the ASR X Pro or some shit? The little groove box version of the ASR ten? Um, no, the it will be it will be the three thousand. Oh no no no! I would I would never sell the three thousand. The three thousand excels at everything that it needs to excel at. That's about it. You know, it's not. I wouldn't I wouldn't pick it over any of my modern day PCs. But no, no. And I got the J Dilla black one. No no thank you. <laughs> someone had to someone would have to offer me a stupid price for me to come up off my MPC 3000 they would have to they would have to offer me a stupid price because it's in quality quality it's mint than a motherfucker it's mint all of the original pieces all of it it's more the it's a limited edition and the number is low on that limited edition um that's this one i mean it's not it's not mine to sell anyways it was a gift it was a gift from my uh a good good friend uh destructo and i would never i don't do that i don't if i'm times is hard motherfucker i'm just gonna rob somebody <laughs> i'm so lucky <laughs> I won't. I wouldn't do that. Of course, it's a joke. It's a joke. 
it's a joke. I don't want people to think I'm, I'm, I'm promoting a certain lifestyle. Uh, 5400 on reverb, that's actually cheap. If it's in, depending on the condition it is in, that's actually cheap. Uh, with the shit, there, I believe someone has one in Atlanta with the original MPC 3000 box. So it's the brown box, kind of like how uh, the Akai Special Edition, the, S, the MPC X SE came in the, the brown box. That's how the MPCs used to come. Um, and uh, yeah, he has the, he has the manual, the, all the, the tidbits. Said the destructor, you're a good person. Yeah, he's a great person, but you best believe the destructor got like three or four or three thousand. <laughs> destructor's <laughs> destructor's uh, collection of gear is ridiculous. But yes, he is a very good person. I appreciate him. That man said he's gonna scam. Not we scamming. Uh, yeah, I wish I had a EMU uh, B station. I always wanted the orange one. I always wanted that. I used to go out to Guitar Center and play with that son bitch all the time uh, because I like the email sounds, but the email sounds are, are cool. They always sounded cool. Uh, I remember like listening. That's what really, I was like, damn, like Shutter Ray, is he using email shit? And you know, at that time, he, you know, uh, producers at that time didn't want to tell you what to use because they didn't want other people to, you know what I'm saying, get up on their shit. And then they had to fuck, they would really legit be going to war with motherfuckers over gear. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> so if you ever <laughs> was in, in that time period, uh, the shit, all, those, all the, the old heads like me were not, if you told what they, if you showed their gear, motherfuckers would be tight. Like, bro, we're going to fight. Nah, bro, you can't leave the studio alive unless you give up this footage. <laughs> Shit. So, uh, anywhere uh, when Akai is gonna fix the server? Uh, I got my stems yesterday, so I'm guessing what they're doing is just doing uh, doing manual fulfillments, which suck balls. As someone that runs a business, doing manual. If you're doing a lot of sales, it really sucks. It sucks balls to manually fulfill a an order. A digital download is is not is. I mean, it's easier, but none the same. All the same, it's still annoying. So you got yours today, and it worked. Said it was beef on site. <laughs> shit, they'll tell you, bro. I can only imagine niggas walked in Dr. Dre's studio and shit. Hey, but Dr. Dre had did 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 <laughs> inform. I imagine having studio informants too. Like <laughs> niggas just snitching on your gear. <laughs> it's funny now, but those niggas was really serious about that back then. Real shit, real shit. They were serious about that. <laughs> they. They would really go at, at, after people about certain things, bro, uh, on some real shit. Samples, all that. Because back then, you know what I'm saying, it wasn't a, I mean, you had a few people that was chopping up samples, but it's not as, as common as it is today because it's way more streamlined and technology is better. Uh, but back then, if they found a drum break, that drum break stayed in the secret archives. They did not tell nobody because... Everybody will hop on your shit and then, you know what I'm saying? People would steal ideas, beats, samples and all that shit. And, you know, if it was a good loop, then that good loop would turn into millions of dollars. And you didn't really care if you was going to lose that much money or whatever, because you was making a lot of money back then. So uh, that, that kind of aspect was how cats in the 90s operated, 90s and below operated. And even in the early 2000s, you know what I'm saying? Like. <clears throat> you know, the computer age brought a whole different kind of crew. You know what I mean? So, you know, it was more, it's more efficient to just say, you know, I use this because that, and, you know, companies, they with that kind of smoke because now you got a reason to, 
you know, show up in an ad or some dumb shit. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we have a different space and time now. So, you know what I mean? Uh, Trey, hey, salute to you, bro. Um, yeah, so back in the day, it wasn't like that. It was millions of dollars on the line. People listened to the radio. There was, there was controlled media, you know? So, uh, <laughs> You got on a loop, you got on a sample, you had anything. You know, they had their little clicks and crews and they had their sworn secrecies and shit like that. And, you know, like, motherfuckers, you talk about if I have this, what goddamn Marvin Gaye loop this is, nigga, then you got problems. We got problems. So, you know, uh, things change for the better, for worse, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Oh. Hey, ghetto Styles, did you answer my question, bro? Did, does your shit freeze up a little bit? Is it me? You know what I'm saying? I, I don't want to just be on no bullshit. You feel me? Is this me that's experiencing this shit? Oh, yeah, for sure. They, nobody wanted to teach you shit. <clears throat> the, the people that taught me how to use the 2000 and 2000 XL, they were elite producers. Uh, Ray Murray, Rico Wade, and, and you know, they understood the assignment. The assignment was, man, you can't just be right here. Who wants to be making beats all day when you can have someone young and inspire, inspiration inspired and just have them, you know? So, so they, they taught. So, you know, uh, there's another cat out here. I can't remember his name, but he, he showed me a lot of things on the 2000 XL. Like, he's like, man, why, why are you using the whole entire, why are you using a drum break like this when you can use it like this? And I'm like, damn, like, what is this shit? Like, he would chop a certain part of the damn, you know, of the sample. And then he would just have, like, different floppy disks with broken drum breaks. And he was a drummer himself, so he had a, a better co concept of how... You should flip a drum break, you know what I'm saying? Or how it should loop it. What issues do you have? Sorry, late to the party. Um, what it, it was freezing. It start, well, it froze while I was making the beat. But when I opened it up, I saved what I did to kind of bounce the shit out is I saved it to the MPC itself. I saved it to my SD card and it pulled up and it didn't do anything. It didn't uh, freeze up. So I'm guessing it's related to how the MPC software is right now because some of the volume knobs aren't working properly. Uh, like the main volume knob to the top right of the UI is not turning down the overall volume of the software like it normally does. Um, <clears throat> I had an earlier build that you could turn it up, you could turn the volume up and down. It was relative to the actual MPC. And it hasn't been like that since damn version 2.7 or something like that. Uh, yeah, so NATO dropping any new gear yet? <laughs> they have a whole ass survey. They asking people what they want. <laughs> they asking. I already know the vibes. Uh, they are closing in on that. So we'll see. We'll see what they do. They closing in. I know that. We'll see. Yeah, the slider at the top, right? Mine's turned up and down. It, I just checked your, uh, you're on a MacBook, right? You're on MacBook Ghetto Styles? See, I'm on Windows. And I already know the deal with it because the, the early build of the MPC uh, software, um, which didn't work for me. And, you know, I just, because my OS, I changed the OS and I fucked up and all that. Yeah, you on the Mac, yeah. So, yeah, we had that talk. We, we was talking about how, like, most software developers, if not all of them, try to develop a first party as, or as close to first party for Apple computers because they have a firm belief, and I don't care who wants to argue this shit with me, uh, that Mac users or Apple users spend money, lots of it. So they want their shit, that shit to be on point, and that they developed for the MacBook first, not on PC. So, yeah. Uh, it'd be like that. I'm still cool with Serato stems from now. Uh, how is the MPC stems as far as its cleanness? 
Um, it sounds very good. It sounds extremely good. Uh, it's right up there with Serato. Uh, it's not up there with Serato in terms of time stretching, even in MPC software. Um, it is what it is, but again, with Serato, unless you're working with Serato Studio, Serato Studio, uh, you can edit the waveforms, but in the Serato sample, you can't. Um, it kind of sucks in Serato sample, but Serato sample still is still good, you know. Uh, uh, yeah, <laughs> imagine that. Is uh, DJ Toomp? <laughs> if it if it is, then what up, bro? But nah, it's still good. It's still good. It's just when you use the stems, when you separate your stems, you might as well just save the project in the MPC in your MPC and then work in standalone. Do not work with the MPC software tethered after the fact, or at least on Windows. Because uh, Ghetto Style says that the uh, Mac version is perfect. I'm not knocking it because I would know that. Said it's you. Oh, what up, my guy? <laughs> uh, Trey, my, my boy Trey been trying to connect us together and shit. Um, but, you know, we'll talk. <laughs> we'll talk. You know, <clears throat> I got, I've been, I've been working to Mac is wax shit, please. If I, ha if I had an extra 2500 just to throw in the air right now, I would definitely get a MacBook. I would get a MacBook Pro, and I would not look back to fucking Windows. And that's well before this. Like, there are so many things that you could do with your Mac. Uh, well, it's not, <clears throat> it's not about what you can do. It's if you're a content creator and you have an iPhone, I can, all I had to do is record a video and I mean, I could I edit on my iPhone. I edit it in CapCut for crying out, crying out loud. But if I don't want to edit it in, in CapCut, I could just airdrop it to my NAM, or I don't even really have to airdrop it. it. iCloud, put it in the Final Cut, boom, boom, boom. There's tons of templates and shit like that. All of my videos that I have edited in Final Cut, ironically, are videos that got over 100 plus, 100 plus thousand views. So, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Why would I not? Uh, my MacBook Air M1 isn't the best, uh, but I have a base model. I should have just spent the extra money. And I can, I can almost guarantee you, every single time I've... I, <laughs> there's just so much I can brag about as far as app, my Apple experience. I mean, I like, I like my PC and all that shit. It's great. But uh, as far as like making music and all that shit, dog, I was doing a whole lot more, gaining a lot more money in all kinds of stuff. It was real easy. I could shoot a commercial. I could use my iPhone, shoot a commercial, put it on there, edit, boom, boom, boom. Dog, I would have people like floor, like they're like, uh, nigga, did you just shoot my damn commercial <laughs> using an iPhone? Yes, nigga, I did. <laughs> I did. I sure did. It looks this professional. Yes, absolutely. The audio quality is good too. Yeah. Uh huh. All of that. Uh, on the MacBook, it's the easiest shit to use. <clears throat> it, it is. I, I just don't like the way that you have to uh, compile projects and stuff like that. That shit is annoying. It's annoying. It's annoying. Um, if you, if you're, if you're a skilled seasonal man like me, you know how to do this with filtering. <laughs> I mean, look, you're, you're not going to filter out some of the things that freaking the stems does facts. <clears throat> it's just, it's just not happening, brother. Uh, that stems, the, the, I mean, the stem separation is good, you know, but the crashing on PC is weird. They never said uh, when stems is dropping for standalone. Dude, I'm, I'm, I can almost guarantee you if it drops, it'll probably drop in a few months. It'll be months. Because you, you, there's the other, all right, so here's the things that we already know. <clears throat> the MPC doesn't have the best specs in the world. 
Does it, their style of stem separation could work on two gigs of RAM. <clears throat> but you gotta see, you gotta think about other things like the time, how, how long it will take. Uh, you don't, uh, if you sample something in or whatever, the, the longer the stems are, and this is tr true to if you use like isotope, what's that shit called, RX? If you have a whole ass song, like a, a three minute song and you want to separate all those stems, it takes a hot minute. It takes like 10, 15 minutes. <clears throat> that don't sound like a lot, but it's a lot compared to like, you know, that shit just bop, bouncing down faster. It takes long on here and I only did like seconds. And then my computer's not slow. It's not slow, it's, but it takes long. It takes long enough. So they have to put that into consideration. You know, that is a CPU heavy process, bruh. There's a whole lot. <laughs> so, so how does it compare to RipX? I mean, it's, it sounds good. Even in comparison to RipX, the even comparison to Serato, it's, it's not like it's, it's not bad at all. <clears throat> Matter of fact, not bad. You know, there, there's only like, I believe, nope, I can't talk about that. But well, what can I, how can I say it? It's like a pad, basically. Um, you just know, if you know, you know. And, and all right, I'm going to leave it on. I'm going to leave it on because I, somehow I think someone is watching me. <laughs> and I don't want, I, and look, I am trying to be, ooh, I'm trying to be a, a, a big shout out to Dr. X, man. Yeah, RX ain't no joke, but damn, you know. Um, nah, I mean, it's the, it ain't no joke. I'm like, I don't got nothing negative to say about RX. I got, I got it. I paid my 200 and something dollars for it, and I don't use it anymore because almost every, Serato, when Serato stems came out and Serato Studio got stems, and then Serato Sample got stems, and now this got stems, and they all, when FL Studio got the stems, you know, all of those sound really good. The ones I just named, Rip X2, I put that, they deserve to be in the comments uh, conversation. Uh, the only one I haven't, like one, I'm not gonna talk about that. Yeah, <clears throat> L A L A L A I. that one didn't sound all that great. Is RC20 trash or nah? No, RC20 is okay. I just don't use it. Uh, what's going on, uh, Destructo? What happened to the hell nah button? It still works. Come on, hell no. <laughs> That's how I feel. <laughs> like, after that, dog, I was like, what the fuck, man? Nigga, I'm sitting here cutting up Curtis Mayfield. Like, nigga, are you serious? <laughs> you could do what the uh, finally having the moment I wanted and they got ruined. <laughs> I took my ball home. Uh, niggas, I had shit. I had some shit over here, bro. You know what? I I do y'all one better. Nigga, I was about to sample this shit. Only only people from Miami and Atlanta. Well, no. Ooh, you can Big shout out to the subscriber only people well new yorkers know about this new yorkers know about this and, and some of my cali and, and cali fam do know about this too bruh this right here this shit right here nigga. this is what especially when i came to atlanta that this is all over it. almost every single atlanta atl booty shaking yo <laughs> straight up i had that shit ready I was like, bro, I ain't never used it. I like, I've listened to the album because it's it's a really dope ass. It's a dope ass album. It's a dope ass album. Uh, Planet Rock, uh, African Mabada. Yeah, I mean, yeah, anything electro. But when when it comes down, when I when I think about that record, I think about Miami bass. I think about Atlanta music. And I think about Memphis. I think about like Louisiana, cause we all use we all use the same shit. Hey, 
That man said Planet Patrol. Oh, much love to you, Jason. Uh, Manatronics. Yeah, yeah, I got a Manatronics album. It's somewhere around here. It's somewhere around here. Yeah, I mean, he sampled it. Yeah, look. And I'm a... I'm a uh, big shout out to the subscriber. I'm a big fan of DJ Magic Mike. Um, uh, I think Toomp, Toomp worked with uh, two lot. Well, was it's it Poison Clan? I know that for sure. I mean, that was a whole part of... And, and for y'all, for those who don't know, my dad used to be a bodyguard for Uncle Luke. Um, especially when he came out here to Atlanta. You know what I'm saying? My dad is a really big ass nigga. Uh, God bless you, pops. But he used to be a bouncer and, and do all that shit, you know. Uh, keep niggas from fucking up. And then he was ex-military, so it was perfect. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and they get out of the pocket. They go get not only twisted up, they go get shit. And my dad, <laughs> oh, Lord. God bless his soul. Nothing to be fucked with. Yeah, but, you know, DJ Magic Mike, you know, uh, Beatmaster Clay D, I don't know how, how much I want to put him into it because there's a whole lot, there's a story behind that. But uh, Beatmaster Clay D used to find all of the fire-ass fucking producers and stuff like that. He's like Puffy of, of the South. No Diddy, though. Uh, <laughs> and, yeah, like, he put together like all the the the, the best bass driven producers ever, and you know if, if you didn't stay in Florida, your ass was out here in Atlanta and you was killing that shit. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so you know those, those that's the kind of music that I grew up to. Like you know even though 808 shit is kind of worn the fuck out to me, um. To this very day, I still got a burning passion about bass in itself. That's why, um, <clears throat> big shout out to them. They always fuck with me as far as like making 808s and shit like that. Um, I don't know who who hasn't fucked with me on 808 shit, but I used to make like custom 808s and stuff like that for people, you know, and uh, and they kind of carried over. <laughs> Tech Master Peb, oh my god, you, I, I know a lot of y'all old as fuck. For real? Clady is in Houston with J Prince is wild. Uh, I definitely met J Prince um, doing music and shit out here in Atlanta. And that nigga used to be back. And, I mean, he used to be back and forth out here. And uh, my cousin, me and my cousin, we, you know, I used to produce for my cousins out here and a lot of my homies and stuff like that. And, and uh, yeah, that's how I met him. So they had to deal, and I don't even want to get into that because I already know I'm going to get a phone call. Like, nigga, that wasn't your reason. You weren't supposed to tell that story. Come on, dog. You know, we ain't healed from that. Yeah, Manny Fresh, uh, <clears throat> Manny Fresh, you know, is different. <laughs> Manny Fresh is just different. Manny Fresh just did, just did shit that to this very day, like, you can listen to. Anybody that can produce at that capacity, is they deserve all the love. Yeah, uh, yeah. Organized noise. That's fam. That's family. Um, uh, those, those are my mentors um, in music, for real. They, if it weren't for them, I wouldn't even be half the person I am in music, for real. And you know, uh, small as it is, I'll take that. Anyone else? Uh, MIDI sync MPC to external doll without using the MPC software? Yeah, I do all the time. I have a whole video about it, how to do it with FL Studio. I just never did it for Ableton. And it's actually easier in Ableton than it is in uh, FL Studio. And the clock is tighter. Um, same, pro same process. Uh, yeah, yeah, Manny, Manny is just different. <laughs> He's just different. And I've seen this man in the studio work. And I'm just like, what the fuck? Like, what? I did not hear that. What you, what you were doing, I did not hear... Um, matter of fact, we was just talking about, someone was talking about the uh, SP-1200. Uh, if there's going to be somebody that I would say is a monster on the SP-1200, it would definitely be Manny fucking Fresh. Like, uh, for those who don't know, uh, Number One Stunner was made on the SP-1200. There's actual video of that, too. Um, I, I learned that from him telling me personally. He's like, yeah, man, I made Number One Stunner on the fucking SP-1200. I was like, ooh, shit. Why is that shit so nasty? <laughs> wow. 
Southern producers, man, we different, man. We 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 hear shit in weird ways. MC Shy D. <laughs> we, we couldn't escape this conversation without mentioning that person. Uh lift the noises in the building. Um Oh, I didn't know David Banner used the SB1200. I always thought he was a 2500, like the 4000, and uh, and he would weirdly use the 5000. Um, but I always knew he was, if it came to the 2500, that man was the, that's who you talk to, for sure. And I don't know if he uses, I'm pretty sure he uses JJOS. I think that's... <laughs> <laughs> That's the main thing any any producer would do with the the twenty five hundred. Like, dude, you, I couldn't imagine working outside of that. <clears throat> but nah, man, Manny Fresh is mean as fuck on the damn SP twelve hundred. All the early shit, I was just like, what for real? I thought you was using the MPC, dog. I was like, no, nah, man, I was using the SP. I was like, ooh. Yeesh, you are very good. If you can make beats like that <laughs> on the on the SP twelve hundred, my dude, yeesh, my my guy, what, <laughs> what? You lying? <laughs> that's why. That's why I was thinking. Oh, this nigga, you lying? <laughs> I got it. Look, I already don't copyright claim myself out of this fucking video. I don't care, but, and I appreciate the support. Um, it's in my, I gotta go, y'all can't see this. You know, I got hidden videos and shit. Um, all my, like shit I want to talk about, shit I want to, I've been just looking at. Uh, let's see here, my content here. I know I got many fresh shit. I think it might be on Above the Clouds channel, too. I'm, I'm, if I'm not mistaken, I got it from Above the Clouds. Uh, Sleepy Brown. Why is that video in there? Uh, the fact that I have a backlog of all the stuff that I react to is funny as fuck. DJ, DJ Academics hating on fucking Metro Boomin is wild. That shit actually really pisses me the fuck off. There it go. Alright. That shit actually pisses me the fuck off. I'm like, dude, why, why the fuck you hating on that nigga? Look at this shit. Look at this. Look at this nigga. Man, look at this shit. Look at this shit. Get out of here. Get out of here. Look at this shit. thing that's missing is the bass line. I can hear the bass line. The bass line and uh, the guitar. <laughs> Boy, you have no clue what that, what that man, we used to be out here playing that shit every single day. He, we used to play that song every single day. What in the world is this man doing? Um, the Italian guitar? Hell yeah. That bass line is just like, what? And uh, synth line, because there's a synth line for the the hook too. Yeah, he, <laughs> damn. That, yeah, that's, that was just the M Audio joint right here. That was the shit. You could tell you just this is like a quick setup from for when you just want to cook shit up, man. Like yeah, this man is, yeah, look at how many damn speakers this man got. I don't, I never could get why people got like multiple speakers outside of the fact that you want to hear your shit just like slap. And then he has I don't know what the fuck that is over there, but that looks like a mixer. 
Uh, then that's the 2000 right there. Uh, 2000 XL to be exact, because you know the adjustable screen and then the extra plain Jane jog wheel. I, I never got, got why they changed that part. I think it was more or less for price pricing at that time uh, when they why they changed the the jog wheel from the 2000 on the 2000 XLs. Like what? Like dude, the the one on the 2000 was fire. But why y'all? But anyways, and it you know got a better file directory. Yeah, he's that, this one right here. He's making beats on what the the one thousand of all NPCs right there. Yeah, the man said he studied many fresh beats like schoolwork. <laughs> no, I do that. I was just <laughs> uh, 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 a good friend of mine had beaten this right. He had two fifteens, and we would just sit and and, and vibe chill. You know, right around the different neighborhoods, and and um, bopped the damn, <laughs> bopped that number one stunner and a whole bunch of other cash money shit, and then we would go and we would bump the Ti, and you know what I'm saying, we, you know, I'd bump the Outcast, and whatever. Boy, well those those were simpler times. I was broke as fuck, but boy, those were simple times, good times, good times. <clears throat> we can get back to that, that'll be great. Get back to just living our lives. But anyways, bro, I'm I'm done, man. Uh, ain't no point. It's 148, three hours or something. Uh, I don't know if I'm. I, I'll probably leave the stream up. You know. Oh uh, yeah, definitely Goody Mom, 100. Uh, percent Anything out the Dungeon Family we was definitely rocking. I, I was uh, a fanboy. But anyways, y'all have a good night. I'm out. Uh, Stems Works is still a little wonky, or at least for me. But hey, uh, we'll see. We'll see what we, what the future.